can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 201. Show filial respect why does Mrs. Wong give eggs for your eldest brother to eat out of nowhere? Lin Ching, he had been very busy recently. The autumn harvest had begun. She was busy making good food and stewing various soups, so she didn't know what the villagers discussed. It said within the village that eldest brother is very likely to get admitted to college. They all hope for eldest brother to be their son-in-law. Erwa replied. Dewa came out of the room. His face expressed slight helplessness. Lin Ching, he chuckled and said, it turned out to be this. Then she got Erwa to send it back to Mrs. Wan with, thank you for your kindness. However, there are eggs at home. It is the autumn harvest now. Save them for your own family. It wasn't just Mrs. Wan. Others also gave it. Lin Ching, he refused all of it. If she accepted some and not others, it would offend people. If she didn't take any, it wouldn't happen as the treatment was all the same. Lin Ching, he couldn't help burst into laughter when she told Mother Zhou about this. Mother Zhou wasn't surprised and said, Mrs. Kai is the same. Every word she conveyed was asking me what kind of person will De Wa look for in the future. Though Kai Ba Mei was only married this year, Mrs. Kai still had grandchildren from her children in front who were older than De Wa. Among them, there were girls of the right age. Mother, how did you reply? Lin Ching, he said. I said you are in charge of De Wa's affairs. I will not interfere. Mother Zhou replied. Speaking of this, Mother Zhou had the urge to laugh. Before, she was really worried about the boys getting married. But now it was spread in the village that De Wa was very likely to get admitted into the university. De Wa really had a large selection of girls to choose from. Lin Ching, he didn't say anything. In current people's minds, the so-called university was actually the workers, peasants, and soldiers' university. This required recommendations from people. In fact, this value was very average. It wasn't as good as passing the exam. Still, the power of the two words, college students, had overwhelming strength. It was a very remarkable phrase. To get recommended to the workers, peasants, and soldiers' university, one naturally required a clean background. Before, Lin Qing, he didn't worry much about whether her reputation for being lazy and gluttonous would affect De Wa. Let alone, she had whitewashed it very, very successfully. So if De Wa had the ability, there will be no problems. The focus on De Wa was still active outside. But only a few days ago, the autumn harvest began to get hectic. Everyone didn't have time to care too much. Two days into the autumn harvest, Zhou Qing Bai, the father, caught another fat rabbit. This had everyone in envy. It was no wonder that Zhou Qing Bai can bring down a woman like Teacher Lin. Zhou Qing Bai wasn't an ordinary man. Not to mention this entire production team, even in the other production teams, there was no such incident like his being able to catch rabbits every time they harvest. This year's autumn harvest, even little Su Ching joined in on pick up weed ears. Although he ended up a little tired, the little guy was still excited. Because all the children were there, it was very lively. When this generation looked back in the future, they would admit their childhood was a bit bitter. Still, that childhood was truly a childhood. Rabbit meat, rabbit meat. Little Su Ching was on cloud nine when heard that his fourth uncle had caught a rabbit. A little girl said, rabbit is so cute, how can you eat it? The rabbit steals food. They even dig into the ground which hinders us from growing food. It's not cute at all. It's delicious when it's braised. Little Su Ching was still too young and can't answer such a profound question. Sanwa took over. When Sanwa responded like this, little Su Ching bobbed vigorously, yes, braise it. Even if he was still young, he still vaguely remembered that braised rabbit meat was delicious. The little girl probably got a little craving when she heard the braised rabbit meat and whispered, can you give me a taste? I haven't tried it before. Sure, but I'll only give you one piece. 
no more. Sanwa stated. Sanwa, you are so nice. The little girl looked at him happily. Sanwa waved his hand and paid it no mind. This little girl was actually Wang Ling's daughter. She wasn't very welcome in the village because of her mother's affair. Her father was already looking for someone again. It'll be around this year's off-peak time when a stepmother will enter the household. One can imagine how uneasy her life will get in the future. However, Sanwa's mind was still very innocent. He won't mind a person's background if he can get along with them. If he can't get along, he won't give a second look, no matter how good the background was. In the evening when they had braised rabbit meat, the little girl actually waited outside the entrance. Sanwa didn't forget her. He brought a piece out for her. She didn't pay any heed to the hygiene factor. The little girl will remember always how delicious this bite of rabbit meat was in the future life. It's a pity that this sunny boy was getting further away as times go on. It was impossible to be together for a lifetime. Sanwa, why are you taking that meat out? Erwa asked. Nothing much, Sanwa picked up the bowl and started to eat. He turned to little Su Ching, little brother, is rabbit meat yummy? Yummy, very yummy. Little Su Ching hurriedly nodded his head. He was given a rabbit leg too. He happily munched on it. Eat more if it tastes yummy. Sanwa grinned. Lin Ching, he ushered Zhou Ching Bai and Father Zhou to eat more. This year's autumn harvest was as tiring as ever. Even though De Hua was busy with his studies, he still participated the autumn harvest in the afternoon. Lin Ching, he did not stop him. But after dinner, she got him to take a shower and then was sent off to study. Father Zhou, the grandfather, was very pleased. Outside, people all say that his family is going to produce a college student. As the grandfather, how can he not be ecstatic? What was the elderly's greatest desire? They just hope that each generation will get stronger than the previous. His youngest son was better than him and more capable than him. Now his grandson was more capable than his son. He was a prospective college student in the eyes of everyone. How can this not make one happy? Right now, when Father Zhou goes out, he was respected by everyone. Father Zhou didn't have much to say. Just that. His grandson study and recite text as soon as he gets back from school. Sometimes he would ask him to help check it. Father Zhou also knew a few words. When he didn't get it, he had to let Erwa take over. But even so, it had the other elderly in envy. You'll be in ease and comfort in the future. Everyone said this to him. I'm enjoying the blessing right now. Father Zhou honestly responded. Since eating with Fourth's wife, Father Zhou discovered that life can be lived like this. It can be so comfortable. To be honest, in the past, Father Zhou felt that he reached the age to enter the coffin. But now, Father Zhou felt that he can live a few more years. Starting this year, he dropped two work points again and only get six work points. When Fourth's wife learned about it, not only did she not criticize him, she also agreed with him. She said to him, I long wanted to tell father to not exhaust yourself so much. It's just I'm afraid of hurting your self-esteem. You are already at this age, you must protect your body, so that your grandchildren can show filial respect to you in the future. Chapter 202 won't cause trouble everywhere. Going with his conscience, he would admit Fourth's wife was the most free-spending among the four daughters-in-law. Still, the other three really couldn't compare with her. She did splurge, but she can earn too. With a salary of more than 10 yuan a month and work points, all the children were growing up very well. She gave them two elderlies the same treatment. What they eat, they too also have. Even if his appetite was large and consume a lot, she won't say anything. Not one word at all, just made more next time. To be honest, he and his wife did dope the youngest son the most in the past. Still, they didn't mistreat the other three. What should be given was given, unlike those who were biased without limits. 
In the past, they had planned to live with Forth's family in the future. But later, they didn't dare to hope for it after seeing Forth's wife's actions. Unexpectedly, she changed for the better when Old Forth returned home. Father Zhou estimated that as long as Old Forth stays at home, Forth's wife won't change back. Therefore, Father Zhou felt that there was hope for him and his wife's remaining lives. Grandfather, come back to drink mung bean soup. After this leisurely clash for a long time, Sanwa came out to call him. From afar, he saw him and yelled. Not chatting anymore, ah. I'm going to drink mung bean soup first. Father Zhou got up and said. Others about his age were really sighed. It was truly different people with a different life. Why didn't they have this blessing? They knew that Father Zhou only gets six work points now. However, they were still earning ten work points. It can't be helped. They had to work more while they can still able now, right? If not, they will really get despised in the future. After drinking the mung bean soup, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou took the still little soup Ching Sun back to the old Zhou's house to take a bath and then rest. It was only after seven o'clock after the bath. Both Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were still up. They sat in the yard on a laid-out mat while they let Susan play for a while. Father, do you have any discomfort in your body? Eldest brother came over to check on him as soon as his bath was over. What discomfort would I have? Father Zhou was taken aback and asked. Who did you hear that from? Your father can't get any more comfortable than now. Mother Zhou uttered in displeasure. No, I heard from the scorekeeper today that father began earning six points for a while. Eldest brother responded. Second brother and third brother didn't know yet. They were both in the same yard, so hearing what eldest brother bringing it up now, they were all surprised. They both turned to Father Zhou, at once, Father, if you are unwell, don't hide it. I'll scoot away. Don't want your father to rest? He had been working for a lifetime and you all have grown up. We both fulfilled all the responsibilities. Mother Zhou said. Initially, they didn't get it. When they heard this, they get it. What? You have an objection? Father Zhou swept them a few glances. No objection. No objection. All brothers shook their heads in unison. Because he understood, second brother whispered, Father, does Old Fort's family know you are getting six work points? They know. Father Zhou answered calmly. Mother Zhou was also composed. She and her spouse were almost sixty-five now. They could still push and work hard as they were worried that Dewa and his brothers won't be able to marry a wife. With such unreliable parents, they wanted to exert a bit. That's why they continued to work it. As they kept working, I realized that Old Forth's family situation was improving every day. Forth's wife became a junior high school teacher and turned a new leaf. Dewa and his brothers were also very high in demand. It wasn't necessary for them to work hard. So, they didn't want to work so bitterly anymore. But before making this decision, Mother Zhou asked Zhou Qingbai, her youngest son first. Even though Zhou Qingbai agreed on the spot, he still mentioned it to his wife when they went to bed at night. Unsurprisingly, his wife had no objection. Still, Lin Qing, he brought it up to Father Zhou the next day. Father Zhou's mind can completely be at ease. Eldest brother, second brother, and third brother were stunned. They never thought this was already approved. There are drastic changes in Fourth's wife now. Eldest brother mentioned this to eldest sister-in-law in the evening. Eldest sister-in-law made no remarks. When they came to filial piety, they were indeed inferior to Fourth's wife. However, their family conditions were really inferior to Fourth's family, so there was no need to compete. Now Dewa and his brothers are quite promising, it's good for father to ease down the workload. If he can get admitted to college, he will definitely be happier. Eldest brother laughed. If he can pass the exam, all of us will be delighted too, eldest sister-in-law chipped in. She hoped that Dewa can pass the exam. 
After passing the exam, he can help out his cousins in the future, right? Second sister-in-law and third sister-in-law had the same thought. Ever since second sister-in-law stayed away from Wang Ling, she has changed a lot. But she was still slightly petty. In fact, this was reality. If Lin Qing, he was a little better than her, like only a little bit, then she will be unsettled and jealous. However, if Lin Qingyi's excellence was something she can't keep up with, then she can only look up. She wouldn't have any other extra thoughts. She also remembered, clearly, that she and Lin Qing, he, were just a matter between two of them. While the children belonged to Zhou family. If De Wa got admitted to college, how can he not help his brothers out? Third sister-in-law also had that meaning. All in all, De Wa became very popular within Zhou family because of the university matter. Lin Qing, he talked about this to De Wa that night. How do you feel? Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. If you want to wear the crown, you must bear the weight. De Wa solemnly uttered this sentence. Lin Qing, he couldn't help but chuckle, too much pressure? Actually, it's okay. I can't stand the fact that they always want to stuff things to me. De Wa shook his head and said. As for the other matters, it was nothing, since he himself indeed held that goal. He will go to the workers, peasants, and soldiers university after he finished high school. Clueless to the continuation of the college entrance exam, De Wa's biggest goal was the workers, peasants, and soldiers university. Lin Qing, he paid no heed. He had worked hard this afternoon, so she let him rest. Then she went back to the room with Zhou Qingbai. She got Zhou Qingbai to lie down, and she directly massaged him on his back. This man's flesh was completely tough. 100% tough guy. Qingbai, our son has already started to have troubles of growing up. Lin Qing, he said in mirth. Even though she had expected this scenario, the three villains described in the original book were at her calls. However, the villains weren't villains. It won't exist anymore. The plot had been messed up by her. The three brothers' morals have already been established. They were all very sensible and won't cause trouble. Chapter 203 Extremely cold, Zhou Qingbai comfortably enjoyed the massage from his wife. As for the three sons, he wasn't worried. She had always taught them very well. He was probably tired too. As he was massaged by his wife, he actually drifted into slumber. Lin Qing, he didn't disturb him either. Even if she had prepared a bountiful meal during the autumn harvest, he was still very drained. Once one's mind was relaxed, people would naturally fall asleep. He got up at four o'clock the next day. When he got up, Lin Qing, he had already gotten up first and had breakfast made. In the autumn harvest season, one must eat food like mantu so that they won't get hungry so quickly. Big white mantu was served with scrambled eggs and cucumber and a plate of meat. He ate with Father Zhou. Then the father and son headed out first after finishing breakfast. Lin Qing, he went back to sleep for a while. These days, the weather was slightly cloudy. The production team was very busy. For fear that the autumn rain would come early, they all started to snatch the grain from dawn to dark. Even on the side sun-drying yard, people were keeping watch. It can't go without a labor force for a moment. In such an environment, Lin Qinghe's school had to be suspended. Mother Zhou left Su Sun at home for her to watch a bit. She too had to help out in the sun-drying yard. Lin Qing, he was still mainly responsible for the family's three meals. She put her utmost to cook up a good three meals. This year, due to the sulky weather and the fear of raining, the autumn harvest was handled really fast. The leader even increased the work points limit. For a while, Zhou Qingbai got 12 work points every day. Father Zhou, who initially didn't plan to work so hard, earned 10 work points again. It was really important to be swift. The autumn harvest, which was supposed to last until November, was completed at the end of October. What's more, the sky was quite beautiful. Even though it was cloudy, it hadn't rained. The autumn rain came after the public grain was handed in. 
just when they planned to distribute the last batch of food, it came down. Even so, the leader and others immediately arranged to distribute the food to everyone. Only then the task for this year was completed. Same as the previous years, Lin Qing, he bought a few hundred jeans when seeing that there was a lot of food left at the team. All of these were reserved for business. For the whole year, she relied on this autumn harvest's grain to make a large profit. And because it was new grains, the profits were basically half. So it was a big deal. Also, she got this cheating artifact, the space. It would be a pity if Lin Qing, he didn't make this profit. The sky after the autumn rain was still relatively cloudy and the temperature dropped a lot. I'm afraid it will be extremely cold this year. Mother Zhou felt the weather and stated. What do you mean? Lin Qing, he asked. Listening to your father, he remembers that it was like this in the past. It was only October, and the weather was very cold. That year, some old people in the village were frozen to death. Mother Zhou explained. Once Lin Qing, he knew it was an elderly's experience, she didn't dare to underestimate it. That very day, she got Zhou Qing Bai to kill a chicken and stewed it into chicken soup for the family as nourishment. Then she began to consciously manage the family's diet. After listening to Mother Zhou saying that it was going to be extremely cold this year, she went back to the city again and bought a few bags of briquettes through her previous connections. As for Zhou Qing Bai, he had already participated in the planting of winter wheat. Lin Qing, he told some of the young teen in the village that they lacked some firewood at home and their family had no time. She asked them to help transport some back. As soon as these children heard about it, they were very happy. Four or five people dragged a cart out away. Within a few days, she had hoarded a lot of firewood for the family. Although it cost a little money, it saved Zhou Qing Bai from getting firewood after planting winter wheat. This winter was very likely to be freezing. Other elderly people in the village also had this recollection and they all prepared for this year's winter. They don't want anything to happen this winter. The last big freeze, an old man in the village had actually frozen into a dangerous condition. After planting the winter wheat, third brother Lin purposely came for a visit. He bought a piece of meat over. He also conveyed news of extreme cold, which had been circulating recently. Do you still need to worry about this side? It should your side. Made any preparation? Lin Qing, he asked. Yes. We won't be cold at home this year. Third brother Lin said. It's a rare chance to get meat distributed. Why are you bringing it over instead of keeping it for your own family? Don't we have meat distribution? Lin Qing, he said. This year, her family was allocated a lot. Like really a lot. Third brother Lin brought a piece of pork belly and when he went back, he took a few fried cabbage buns. The rest were Sanwa's remaining two little clothes from when he was younger. Both were very warm. It was originally intended to be reserved for little Su Qing. But after some thought, Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei were fairly well off. There was no lack of various tickets for those in employment. So, she gave it to her brother. The piece of meat from the third brother Lin was under third sister-in-law's order. She sincerely wanted to give it to third sister. Although it was only half a caddy, it was what the family retained by saving. She never thought that her man would return with a few white buns and two pieces of clothes. Just by the touch, they were very thick. Although they were a little bigger for her son, it didn't matter. It was just perfect. Third sister really dotes our family. Third sister-in-law Lin remarked emotionally. My sister said that next time we get meat, we are to keep for ourselves. We don't need to send it over. She was allocated a hefty amount. Third brother Lin nodded. Save our eggs next year and then send some to third sister. Third sister-in-law Lin decided. They can't always accept the things from third sister. They have to send some over here. No matter how much it was, it was always the thought that counts. Third brother Lin didn't say anything. 
but from today onwards, he was going to get some firewood back for preparation. As for his sister, he needn't worry. She won't freeze his nephews anyway. He saw that a lot of firewood was accumulated. This year's winter was indeed extremely cold. Only a week after the winter wheat was planted, the rain fell, and the temperature dropped to one or two degrees. It was even colder at night. After seven or eight consecutive days of rain, the snow fell. The weather was exceptionally cold. Lin Ching, he cooked big bone radish soup early in the morning and ate it with mantu. After eating, she took De Wa to school. It wasn't winter vacation yet. They still had class. But got to say, it was freezing. She applied skincare cream to herself. De Wa also had vanishing cream applied to him. If not, it would be too cold. At least from what Lin Qing, he saw, many children in the class were flushed from the cold temperature. Because it was too cold, the junior high school closed more than a week earlier this year. It just entered December and the holiday break arrived. Chapter 204 Froze to death Lin Qing, he and the other teachers were also on vacation. Each of them received the benefit of 30 genes of food, as well as food and cloth coupons. Lin Qing, he found it pretty good. She took De Wa home. Once they got home, they noticed Zhou Qingbai wasn't there. He made a trip to the city. Mother Zhou explained. Lin Qing, he let Zhou Qingbai be. She got up this morning and put on vanishing cream on him. Really this man. If she didn't apply it on him, he simply won't put it on. Lin Qing, he thought he was looking for spoiling in disguise, even when he won't say out. Zhou Qingbai only came back in the evening. When he came back, he brought back a few jeans of mutton, which he got with the help of his comrade. Lamb was relatively scarce here. If one didn't have connections, it wasn't easy to get it. But now that he got it, Lin Qing, he didn't hold back. She stewed a mutton and radish soup. She was not stingy either. She sent big bowls of mutton soup to the three sisters-in-law. There were more radishes and a little mutton. Even so, it was her thought. Even if it was second sister-in-law, she kept it in mind. When eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law came to visit, she got eldest sister-in-law to bring over her two gene of sesame as she hadn't joined in. Lin Qing, he accepted it without reservation. The sesame seeds in her family were consumed very quickly. Before the winter this year, she got Mother Zhou to grind a lot of sesame paste and bring it back to keep. Occasionally, she would make some sesame paste soup for everyone as a snack. As for this mutton soup, it was indeed nourishing. Zhou Qingbai felt that his body was quite good after eating it. Lin Qing, he liked it too. On the eighth day of the twelfth lunar month, Su De Lin came back with a lot of food and eggs. As for Zhou Xiaomei, she didn't come back. She was pregnant. Why would she come here in this icy and snowy conditions? In other words, this year, Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei won't come to the countryside to spend the new year. However, Su De Lin will come and take little Su Qing and little Su Sun back home when the time comes. He hadn't received his holiday yet, so it will take a while. Lin Qing, he didn't say anything. She brooded over the fact that everyone in this society was healthy from eating coarse grains. Look at this couple. They get children when they say they want children. Not to mention others, even Kai Ba Mei, who married Zhou Dong. Wasn't her belly pretty big this year? She became pregnant soon after marrying. If it was quick, it'll be delivered this year. If late, she will give birth early next year. Kai Ba Mei was indeed a nice person. She was an honest one, she was quite suitable for Zhou Dong as she lived her life peacefully. And Zhou Dong was no longer the kid he used to be. He was now a good young man earning 10 work points. He was also one of the best in the village. What's more, being the son-in-law of old Kai family, Zhou Jia village won't dare to underestimate him. This time, Su De Lin came over, he brought a pack of milk powder. De Hua and the others had her buying it. Su Qing and his brother would also get a share. 
So when this package was given to them, Lin Qing, he shared it with De Hua and the rest to drink together. No reservation or guilt. I discussed, with Xiaomei. In the future, when De Hua goes to high, high school, he will come, to live at my home, no need to live at school. Su De Lin expressed his intention. Lin Qing, he smiled, it would be nice to let De Hua live in the school. Fourth. Sister-in-law, don't, treat us, like outsider. Let De Hua go, to live at my home. It's better. Su De Lin seriously stated. His two sons were raised in his fourth brother-in-law's house. He could see how well they were raised. Not a single suffering. Maybe he and Xiaomei can't raise them this well if it were them. Although he had brought a lot of things, the children still got to eat. What's more, they also owe a debt of gratitude. Actually, Lin Qing, he had that plan, but she didn't mention it. Now that Su De Lin brought it by himself, she could see that he was sincere. So Lin Qing, he smiled and said, okay. If this kid is disobedient in the future, you and my sister-in-law don't have to be polite with him. De Hua is, very good. Su De Lin grinned and nodded. He really felt that De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua were really well taught. If his sons can be the same in the future, then he will be satisfied. And for now, his eldest son, Su Qing, was growing in that direction. When Father Zhou and Mother Zhou got to know about De Hua was going to live with his uncle and aunt during high school, they both approved. The two of them had this intention long ago, but they felt embarrassed to mention it. After all, they didn't know what Su De Lin's thoughts were. Now that he broached on it, it couldn't be any better. Zhou Qingbai had no opinions on these things. He felt that his son could adapt to wherever he lived. De Hua was on vacation. He began to devote himself to studying. Except for being called out by his father to go out for a morning jog and run around the village in the morning, the rest of the time was basically studying. Lin Qing, he also guided him. When school starts next year, she intended to send De Hua to the second semester of second year. Meaning, De Hua will skip grades. The learning pressure of this era was really lax. Compared with him, Er Hua and San Hua didn't have much stress. But because the snow was really heavy, they can't go out either. This year's weather was really terrible. In the middle of December, a piece of bad news erupted. An old man in the village was frozen to death in the middle of the night. This old man was an old bachelor. He hadn't gotten a wife in his whole life, because of his bad character. No one would help him at all. The most important thing was that at his age, during this weather. He had experienced this weather before and he actually didn't prepare more firewood. His body wasn't the best, so he really froze to death. Everyone knew what he was like when he was alive. But now he died, the deceased was held more priority. Without any words, the younger people in the clan took care of the funeral matters in the name of the humanitarian spirit. With this kind of weather, it can't be helped that it was rushed. In addition to this one, there were problems for a few other households. Because of the heavy snow, the house, which was old and not repaired, simply crushed down. Fortunately, people woke up in time and ran fast. They didn't get squashed. If not, another terrible event was going to happen. The next day, Zhou Qingbai and his brothers checked their roofs, including their parents' side. After checking them all carefully and found there was no problem, they were relieved. However, it was extremely cold. Many people probably didn't have enough firewood. They were really pleading everywhere when borrowing from neighbors. In such weather, who would be willing to lend out their firewood? If cold, go up the mountain to find it yourself. Which family didn't keep it for their own family? It was impossible to borrow some firewood. The pork was distributed in the village on the 20th of December. On the 25th day of December, Zhou Shi came over to announce the good news. Her sister-in-law gave birth last night and it was a chubby nephew. Chapter 205 Father Zhou got sick Kai Ba, May married in at the beginning of this year and gave Zhou Dong a son at the end of this year. 
have to say, it was quite a capability. The first child was a son. No matter if the future kids were a girl or a boy, she didn't have to worry about it. Lin Ching, he had visited Kai Bame. She brought over half a caddy of brown sugar. Since she was married within her own village, Mrs. Kai came to serve her during the postnatal confinement. Even though Zhou Shi was available and hardworking, she didn't have the knowledge to look after her. Now that it was the off-peak season and this year's weather was especially cold, Mrs. Kai had to help. If not, what if there an accident happens? When Lin Qing, he came over, Mrs. Kai was there. Seeing that she brought half a caddy of brown sugar over, she jotted down in her heart and said, Teacher Lin, why bring so much brown sugar? Leave it for De Hua and his brothers. I had prepared it for Ba Mei a long time ago. You are you. I'm giving it to Zhou Dong's wife. Lin Qing, he replied with a smile. Mrs. Kai knew that she had a good relationship with Zhou Dong and Zhou Shi, so she didn't say anything and accepted with a smile. Kai Ba Mei was sleeping at the moment. Lin Qing, he had a short conversation with Mrs. Kai before returning home. Teacher Lin is really thoughtful. Mrs. Kai remarked. Auntie has always been very good to us. Zhou Shi nodded. Many things were taught to her by Auntie. Like protecting herself, caring for herself, keeping hygiene and sanitary standards, and handling menstrual affairs for the first time. These were all taught by Lin Qinghe. Occasionally when she went there, Auntie would also grab a handful of red dates for her to eat. She urged her to eat more red dates to replenish blood, which was good for her body. Even though she didn't understand, Auntie also taught her some soups. After that, she frequently made it for her sister-in-law. Probably due to a wonderful diet during her pregnancy, her nephew was born with thick and plentiful of hairs. He was more than six genes. Lin Qing, he didn't intervene in these matters too much. With the experienced Mrs. Kai, there won't be any chaos. Still, Kai Ba Mei was great at picking the time. During the period for meat distribution, she gave birth. Wasn't this perfect timing? Meat was indispensable during the postnatal confinement. The baby's rations will be sufficient and her physique will improve. It won't be easy to catch a cold or something. The past two days, Lin Qing, he had been making braised porks. Braised pork had meat. That is so scrumptious. The cooked braised pork made the whole family feel satisfied. Lin Qing, he mentioned to Zhou Qing Bai in the evening, if things don't work out in the future, I will open a braised pork shop. What do you think? In her previous life, her culinary was above average. After coming here, her main task was to make good food and didn't need to focus on anything else. So, her culinary got better day by day. Zhou Qingbai smiled and put his wife in his embrace, if open, it should be me doing it. You can collect the money in the store. Lin Qing, he imagined the future with him. As for Zhou Qingbai's thoughts on what the future will be like. Before his wife told him, he would have never imagined that the current country would develop into what his wife described in just a few decades. It was simply a fantasy. After all, not everyone knows if they can fill their stomach. For example, this year, if everyone didn't rush to grab the harvest quickly and got all the harvesting, drying, and ration paying completed before the autumn rain came down, then everyone won't have the mood for the new year. And not all production teams were as engaged as their production team. When Zhou Qingbai participated in the meeting with the leader and the others this year, he saw that the production teams of other communities were late to rush the harvest and the autumn rain came down so fast. How much grain wasn't collected? What did incomplete harvest mean? It meant that all the hard work had been done in vain. It also meant that in such cold weather this year, many people will probably be not able to eat. In fact, a lot news from outside these days was about that some elderly people getting frozen. Not having enough food was one of the biggest reasons. If it weren't for that, it won't be so easy to get frozen to a dangerous level. Compared with the present, the future he heard from his wife had Zhou Qingbai feeling a surge of emotion. 
It'll be great if the country really becomes so strong. In the middle of the night, Mother Zhou rushed over to bang the door. It turned out that Father Zhou had a fever. It was fine at first, but somehow he suddenly got a fever. The old man was 65 after the new year this year. His body had always been pretty good, especially since Lin Qing, he knew that it was going to be very cold this year and provide supplements for his body. Unexpectedly, Father Zhou still caught a fever. Fortunately, Lin Qing, he was always prepared. She had stored fever medicine in her space. These were all bought back from the black market at high prices for an emergency. Never thought it'll be of use. Quickly give it to father. Lin Qing, he stuffed it to Zhou Qing Bai. Of course, Zhou Qing Bai knew that this medicine was from the future. Eldest brother and others had yet to see what the medicine looked like when Zhou Qing Bai swiftly fed it to Father Zhou. He alone only needed to know about his wife's matter. The others didn't need to know. That box of medicines Lin Qing, he bought, in the beginning, was totaled up to half of her savings. So naturally, it was all genuine and the best medicines. Father Zhou took the medicine and had a warm compress applied to him until it was a little past one, the fever subsided then. Lin Qing, he got Zhou Qing Bai to feed it again. With this, she can relax. This time, it's all thanks to Fourth's wife. The four of us can split the medicine cost equally. Eldest brother said with a sigh of relief. Second brother and third brother also nodded their heads. Had to split evenly. Father lives here. I hope that three brothers can give more care. As for the medicine money, there is no need. Lin Qing, he said. How can that do? Second brother responded. It should be given. Third brother also expressed. It's pretty late. Everyone go back and rest. Lin Qing, he just shook her head and said. The next morning, she cooked lotus seed rib kanji. The ribs were from the meat distribution. The lotus seeds were purchased. The cooked porridge was very revitalizing and suitable for Father Zhou to have. It was delivered by Zhou Qing Bai. The boys heard that their grandfather was sick and joined their father. Despite the severity of the sickness and the scare, Father Zhou had to admit he can feel the care of his sons, daughters-in-law, and grandchildren. Wasn't this what people desire most when they live to this age? Even if one was physically unwell, they also hope to not get disdained. With this event, this old man was very satisfied. After drinking the pork rib and lotus seed kanji delivered by his youngest son, Father Zhou was still not very energetic, but he did recover a little bit. After a few days of care, he will be able to return to the original form. Chapter 206 74's New Year Eve dinner Father Zhou's situation had stabilized, and everyone in the old Zhou family can let out a sigh of relief. Father Zhou's illness arrived so abruptly and fiercely. It had Mother Zhou feeling terrified. It wasn't just her. Eldest brother and the others were also very anxious. Last night, Father Zhou even started to mumble nonsense and wanted to give his last words. Fortunately, Fourth's wife had prepared medicine. After taking it, he was forced back to life. How can old Zhou family not breathe a sigh of relief after this? Due to Lin Qing, he's current achievement, her position in old Zhou family was truly unshakable as long as she didn't do anything overboard. Eldest sister-in-law and others can't throw their weight in front of her. Of course, they won't throw their weight around because they were also relieved. During Father Zhou's recuperation, it was needless to say how good the food was. Extremely. On top of that, with the old man's normally sturdy body, he was able to come for a stroll in just two days after bundling up. At this time, it was already getting close to the end of the year. Even though Father Zhou had recovered a lot in the past two days, he appeared to lose weight. After all, he was getting older. Withstanding this, took a lot out of him. The leader personally came to show his care. He ruefully said, Old brother, don't push too hard like this in the future. Ching Bai and his brothers are all capable. 
They won't let you and my sister-in-law have nothing to eat. If this year's grain isn't harvested, don't think about celebrating New Year. It is tiring. Father Zhou replied. He himself felt that his illness was linked to this year's autumn harvest. It can't be helped. This year's weather was bad, so it really couldn't be delayed. The leader admired his awareness. However, this illness had damaged the core. I'm afraid that I will not be able to do it again in the future even if I want to. Father Zhou continued. He felt that he had to take good care of his body. He didn't want to overexert himself. If he did, he'll most likely be finished in a few years. The leader naturally agreed. After working hard for most of his life, he can relax and enjoy since encountered filial sons and daughters-in-law, right? On the 29th, Zhou Qingbai entered the city and brought a net bag of pears. It went without saying, Father Zhou had a share of it. Half a net bag was brought over. Father Zhou kept a few for himself. The rest was given to the rest of the grandchildren. It had the children elated too. In a blink, it was New Year's Eve. Your father's intention is to have a whole family New Year dinner together. Mother Zhou came over and informed. Okay. Each family will take a few dishes and pull together. Lin Qing, he said when she heard this. Mother Zhou grinned. She went over to notify the other daughters-in-law. As long as fourth's wife agreed, there was no problem with the other three. Both little Su Ching and little Su Sun had been taken back to the city by their father to celebrate the new year. Because of this year's severe cold, it was said that the city won't officially go to work until the 15th of January. This was considered relatively long. Lin Qing, he prepared five dishes on her side, stir-fried pork with potatoes, stewed pork with starch noodles, stewed pork ribs and soy sauce, a plate of braised pork, and a pot of big bone radish soup. Such dishes were naturally great. The other three were very cooperative. They too had prepared a lot of dishes. Because the headcount was too large, they had to split between two tables. Since the family separation, there had been no such family get-together. Due to Father Zhou getting seriously ill and making this wish, the sons and daughters-in-law were also happy to satisfy him. Therefore, as soon as the family members huddled together, they began New Year's Eve dinner. At the dinner table, there were talks about the harvest in the past few years and the progress of every household. The old Zhou family was indeed getting better and better. The family with the best development happened to be Zhou Qingbai and Lin Qing He's, which the villagers hadn't had much expectation before. It can be said that a black horse had emerged. The other three weren't faring badly. Eldest brother and eldest sister-in-law's girls had grown up, especially Zhou Dan Ai. Once the off-peak season arrived next year, she will get married. In fact, in-laws wanted the marriage after the new year but eldest sister-in-law wanted to keep her eldest daughter a bit longer. So they'll talk about it when it's off-peak season next year. Second sister-in-law and third sister-in-law were also doing well. After all, second brother and third sister-in-law brother weren't lazy. As long as the man in the family can handle the responsibility, the woman in the family will take care of the house. How can life get worse? They all made small savings. Therefore, everyone ate till their heart content during the New Year's Eve dinner. After eating, Lin Qing, he chatted with her three sisters-in-law. San and I, bring Lu and I over to help your sister and the others with the dishwashing, instructed second sister-in-law. Zhou San and I agreed. However, Zhou Lu and I didn't want to go, but she didn't dare to say in front of her mother. She came to the kitchen and said, there are so many people, don't need me at all? I saw you gobbled up a lot of meat, fish, and eggs. Now it comes to work, you want to hide? Zhou San and I hadn't spoken out. It was third sister-in-law's Zhou Wu and I who snorted coldly. What are you talking about? Haven't you eaten too? I think you eat more than me, responded Zhou Lu and I at once. No need to argue. You ate the most. Eldest sister-in-law's Zhou C and I directed at Zhou Lu and I. They all witnessed it just now. 
Although it was a rare chance to have such a good meal, it was still disgraceful to look like a starving ghost coming back to life. Zhou Lu and I became mad, you guys are bullying me. After saying this, she ran out. Hmph, making another excuse to not work. Zhou Wu and I said with a curled lips. Then she turned to Zhou San and I, Sister San and I, why are you spoiling her? Acting like that, wouldn't it be hard to find a good husband in the future? Zhou San and I shook her head, I'm not spoiling her. If she didn't do the chores at home, it will be left undone or wait until her mother comes back and do it herself. So Zhou San and I doesn't argue with her sister. If she was willing to do it, then do it. If she didn't, it didn't matter if she worked more. It wasn't tiring work anyway. However, the young girls were much happier without the petty and scheming Zhou Lu and I. They talked and laughed while working together. Lin Qing, he talked with eldest sister-in-law and the others for more than an hour. During the period, she sent De Hua back to get the sweets and share it. It contributed to the festive air. However, New Year's Eve dinners like this were limited to this year. If they want to eat like this next year, her family won't participate. It's just because she really couldn't stand Zhou Lu and I, this niece's way of eating during dinner. And second sister-in-law didn't say a word. So she couldn't eat together with them. But let's forget it this year. Treat it as fulfilling the wishes of the elderly. When it was almost time, Lin Qing, he took the children home first. As for Zhou Qing Bai, he was still gathering with eldest brother and the others. It was rare to get together, so it was fine to stay longer. Zhou Qing Bai didn't come back until after 10 o'clock. Although he didn't say much, Lin Qing, he could still see from the man's face that he was in a good mood. He poured him a cup of warm honey water to drink and then sent him to sleep. Wife. Zhou Qing Bai got on the Kong and held her. Chapter 207 Won't get cold, Zhou Qing Bai was happy. The current days had this guy, who satisfied with what one has, content. His parents were well. Good sibling relationship. Gentle wife. Sensible and strong children. For a man, was there anything more fulfilling than this? Everything he had now was given by his wife. He was grateful to her and wanted to hug her. It was rare for Lin Qing, he, to see this man, to bluntly seek spoiling like this. She hugged his neck and smilingly said, What's up? Learning from Sanhua? Zhou Qing Bai looked into his wife's eyes. It was full of affection for him. The corners of his mouth raised slightly. This man had always been very tough, but that was just on the outside. He liked the warmth of his home when he comes home. Lin Qing, he had never been stingy on these matters. No matter how tired he was outside, she can always make him feel the warmth at home. There was no need to claim the credit. For the family, he was busy working outside. She naturally had the responsibility to take good care of the home, so he didn't need to worry. The home was formed by him and her. There was no reason for him to bear it all by himself. Lin Qing, he was carried on to the Kong by him. The encounter became a kiss that lasted three minutes. It smells like alcohol. As soon as the kiss was over, Lin Qing, he coquettishly hammered him lightly and pouted. Wife. Zhou Qing Bai huskily called her out. This emittance of wife contained the man's deep love for her. It also caused Lin Qing his body to soften. Naturally, the two of them had gentle loving. In the middle of the night, the temperature dropped again. This winter, it was extremely freezing even when it was New Year. Zhou Qing Bai went to check on his three sons. The Kong was still warm, so his mind was at ease. He added a pair of worn-out trousers for Fei Ying outside. Fei Ying wagged his tail in response. Zhou Qing Bai went in and continued to sleep. It's really cold today. Lin Qing, he woke up too and said. It was this cold once when I was young. Zhou Qing Bai hugged her and responded. I can tell father and mother love you the most, so they wouldn't let you get cold. Lin Qing, he smiled lightly. 
They did dote me the most, however, the conditions at home weren't good. We all slept together in a huddle. Zhou Qingbai said. At that time, there was no such large cotton quilt. All were made of straw. How could straw keep warm? Fortunately, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were home-oriented. They made sure they can fill their stomach 50-60% full. So even when the winter was a bit tougher that year, they didn't freeze. The whole family was fine, but some other families weren't so lucky. Generally speaking, as parents, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were great. That's why the brothers and sisters were so filial. For example, Zhou Xiaomei, the youngest daughter, since first sister and second sister's families weren't well off. That time when Su Dalin came over to bring back Su Qing brothers, he brought ten jeans of white flour for Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. On top of that was another red envelope of ten yuan. They were all very filial. You brought over these two big quilts and mattresses in our family? Zhou Qing Bai asked again. N. Lin Qing, he smiled. She guessed that this man had probably suspected before she confessed. He just didn't say it out loud. Zhou Qing Bai indeed had suspicions, but his imagination wasn't that good. After all, these two big quilts were really rare. How can they be so easy to make? And this mattress, it was also extra cozy and warm. Zhou Xiaomei had inquired with Lin Qing he about it last year. Forget the quilt, but the family did lack a mattress. She found this woolen mattress quite excellent. But the idea was dispersed by Lin Qing he. She said that she bought it on the black market and didn't know where it was sold from. I didn't have much money at the time, otherwise I would collect some bird's nest and fish gelatin. Lin Qing, he felt regretful when she said it. At that time, she was worried that the money would be all spent and her pockets would really be empty. Who knew she would come right away in her sleep? And the buns that were ordered and weren't brought over. It hurts to think about it. Zhou Qingbai smiled. Go to sleep. On these days, it's best to stay under the covers. Lin Qing, he ushered. Zhou Qingbai slept with her. The snow outside was indeed heavy. When they got up the next day, there was a thick layer of snow in the yard. Zhou Qingbai looked at the children. De Hua and his brothers were still asleep. Then he came to old Zhou's home. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were fine, so he came back to cook porridge with a reassured mind. However, Lin Qing, he didn't need him. She got up and cooked the millet porridge and spare ribs with lotus seed congee herself. If Zhou Qingbai returned later to make it, it would definitely be salty or bland. With nothing to do, Zhou Qingbai went out for a run. It was too cold this year. There were worries that the piglets won't survive if brought back to raise. So they planned to wait for when it was warmer before bringing them back. Even the hens were moved to the firewood shed. They'll get frozen in the chicken pen. Because the weather was too cold, he didn't get De Hua to join the run like normal. After Lin Qing, his kanji was cooked, De Hua woke up. As for Er Hua and San Hua, they were still asleep on the Kong like piglets. Brush your teeth and wash your face. Afterward, send this to your grandparents. Lin Qing, he ordered him. De Hua said, I will send it over first. Lin Qing, he placed it in the food box and let him deliver it to his grandparents. Father Zhou hadn't woken up yet. Mother Zhou was. De Hua asked, Grandmother, how is grandfather's body? It snowed so hard yesterday. He's fine. The quilt your mother gave us is warm. We won't get cold. Mother Zhou smiled. That's good. Dewa nodded and gave her the food box. He urged her to have it while it was hot before going back. Mother Zhou took it in and called her partner to get up. Father Zhou didn't stay in bed. He went to brush his teeth and wash his face once he was warmly dressed. Then he ate breakfast. Things like lotus seeds were still very precious. After all, there was no pond here to raise lotus roots. They were all imported from outside. 
However, things like this weren't expensive in Lin Qing's eyes. She bought a lot of them and stored them away. When she wanted to eat it, just pay attention when cutting the lotus plumule. The whole family liked it, so why not buy it? Zhou Xia was drooling at this so-called lotus seed and rib porridge. No matter how much he craved for it, he knew that his grandfather was sick and couldn't request for it. Grandmother, is this lotus seed porridge delicious? Zhou Xia turned to his grandmother. Mother Zhou wasn't stingy. She scooped a spoonful for him. There were a few lotus seeds in it. Really fragrant. Zhou Xia didn't have more after eating this spoonful. He was always envious of San Hua and his brothers. Whatever delicious was whatever made by fourth aunt. It's so cold today, why aren't you wearing more? Mother Zhou asked him. No clothes. But I am more resistant to the cold. Zhou Xia replied. Mother Zhou frowned and touched the clothes. It wasn't thick. She said, go back to the room and stay there. Don't go outside. If you catch a cold on this freezing weather, you'll have to get an injection. The injection had an effect as Zhou Xia went back in obediently. Chapter 208 Pheasant, this second's wife is a little too prudent, Xia Xia's clothes aren't warm. Why didn't she make a thick one? Mother Zhou turned to Father Zhou. It's much better than their father back then. Father Zhou didn't care. The grandchildren had it much better now than their father's generation. At least they can still eat 70% to 80% full. In the past, being able to eat half full was pretty good. It's much better than then. Mother Zhou agreed as it was the truth. Father Zhou said, don't compare Xia Xia with De Hua and his brothers. Let alone our village, some children in the city may not be able to live better than them. This was the truth. From all the children Father Zhou had seen in his life, none can be like his grandchildren like De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua. There were no words for this lifestyle. It was said that the children in the city were blessed, but Father Zhou felt that no matter how blessed they were, they can't beat De Hua and his brothers. When Mother Zhou heard this, she didn't say anything. She was slightly brainwashed by Fourth's wife. Now she thought about it, wasn't this the case? Which children in the village weren't raised in such a hungry and cold manner? Certainly can't compare with De Hua and his brothers. As the source of envy for all children in the village, De Hua and his brother's life was pretty great but as De Hua said, one must bear the weight of the crown. For example, right now. De Hua started to study straight after eating breakfast. Even when it was the first day of the new year, studying continued as usual. It was too cold this year. It was so cold that no one wanted to get together. They all stayed in their own homes. As for Er Hua and San Hua, they were better off. Since they won't make it in time, Lin Qing, he won't force them. They were quite free. The two brothers didn't stay still. Seeing that it wasn't snowing outside, they ran out to play. Zhou Qingbai couldn't take it easy. He went out to see if he can hunt any pheasant or rabbit. As soon Er Hua and San Hua heard this, they stopped playing and immediately followed their father out. Hunting pheasants and hares in winter were one of their bigger joy. De Hua wanted to go too. Endure this year. Wait until the second year of junior high school, you can study normally without skipping grades. Lin Qing, he comforted him. De Hua was very sensible. He was already 11 years old this year. He had grown very fast. He was already a little over 1 meter 60. Just slightly shorter than Lin Qinghe. He looked a lot like Zhou Qingbai, his father. Slightly mature looking, looking more like a 13 or 14 year old. According to later generations' words, his development is quite rushed. Truthfully, it wasn't. De Hua was the same type as his father, very attractive. At 17 or 18, he will look old, like he is in his 20s. But once he is over 25 years old, then his advantages will emerge. Very appealing to the eyes and becomes more handsome. 
For example, she always gets put under a spell, by Zhou Qingbai. Handsome and tall. In the whole village, no one can match her edge-cutting man. Even Chin Shan, the scumbag, can't even touch her Qingbai's shoes. Speaking of Chin Shan, this guy finally knew to keep a distance from her. When he first joined the school, he frequently used the excuse of seeking study guidance. She didn't give him any attention at all. Now that her son entered junior high school, what do you know, he knew to keep a distance. Otherwise, his feeble body definitely won't be able to withstand her Qingbai's fist. But had to admit, Chin Shan was indeed a smooth talker and his knowledge was also quite broad. He had sniffed out that it was very likely for the college entrance examination to resume, so he had been reading and studying in private. If she had guessed it right, Chin Shan hadn't leaked a word to other people within the educated youth group. This guy knew how to scheme. No wonder that after the college entrance examination resumed, he was in the first batch to pass the exam. Out of so many places in the area, he was the only one to pass the exam. Was this not cool? However, it's not happening this time. Both she and her son will pass. Chin Shan won't be the sole one anymore, Lin Qing, he got Dewa to continue his studies. Then she made a pot of sesame peanut soup for Dewa to eat with red bean rolls. Of course, she didn't forget to get Dewa to send a portion to his grandparents. Treat it as an exercise. I just saw the boys, Erwa and Sanwa, and their father went out to catch pheasants. Why didn't you go? Mother Zhou asked him. I still have some homework to do. Dewa said. Don't need to exhaust yourself. If you can't pass the second year entrance exam, it's fine to continue to the first year. Mother Zhou said. Huh? Dewa is going to the second year. Didn't you only enter first year? Eldest sister-in-law just came over and exclaimed in a surprise. I plan to skip a grade this year and jump up to the second year. Dewa just said. This, can you keep up? Eldest sister Zhou couldn't help but utter. My mother is giving me supplement lessons. It should be possible. Dewa responded. His mother focused on the key area, so even though there are a lot of modules in junior high school, it wasn't really tiring to learn. After all, there was nothing to pass the time apart from studying. Not staying any longer, Dewa went back. Eldest sister-in-law had an envious expression, if Yang Yang can be like Dewa, I will be satisfied. Her eldest son Yang Yang was eight years old this year. Just one year younger than Erwa. However, she planned for him to start school this year. She and eldest brother didn't understand, so they cannot teach him at home like Lin Qinghe. If too small, he won't understand when he gets sent over. So they plan to send him this year. After all, seven-year-old San Hua will be in the next semester of first grade this year. Her son can't lag too far behind. Speaking of which, eldest sister-in-law really envied Lin Qing, he, this sister-in-law. There was no harmony before, but now she blended in, the few of them can't catch up with her. Mother Zhou didn't put eldest sister-in-law down by saying old Zhou family didn't have the gene. Dewa's studying skills were brought by their mother, so it's better to let Yang Yang work hard. Such rare creatures like college students, the more the better. On the same day, Zhou Qingbai returned with Er Hua and San Hua with two pheasants in tow. Lin Qing, he was pleasantly surprised, why are there two? One was discovered by father, and the other was discovered by me. San Hua said immediately. The little guy was quite ecstatic. Two pheasants, gonna be a big feast. Good job. Lin Qing, he exclaimed and then asked Zhou Qingbai to clean it up. Out of the two pheasants, they'll have one. The other will be reserved for the son's in law's visit on the second day of the new year tomorrow. It counted as a big dish. On the third day, second sister and second brother in law, as well as eldest sister and eldest brother in law, came over. They originally wanted to bring the children with them this year. However, it was too cold and there weren't enough warm clothes. That's why only the adults came and none of the children. 
so this pheasant was chopped and braised with soaked fungus. A large pot of vegetables was fried. One plate was left at home. The rest was instructed by Lin Qing, he to Zhou Qing Bai, to bring it to old Zhou house. She also had Zhou Qing Bai join them. Chapter 209 A wild boar, the meal was eaten at old Zhou's house. After the meal, the two sisters came over and sat around. Lin Qing, he welcomed them. After all, the two of them weren't some high-ranking relatives and were still very peaceful. So it was okay to have these two relatives in the house. Both first sister and second sister knew fourth's wife had really changed for the better. Naturally, they were willing to mingle with them. Before Lin Qing, he came over, they hadn't taken a single step here. Of course, the original owner wouldn't care if they did. In the mind of the original owner, it would be better to remove the relationship with these two paupers earlier. Eldest sister and second sister took their own man back once it was two o'clock in the afternoon. The two families walked on the same road, so the two sisters had a chat. Fourth's wife is getting more and more sensible now. Eldest sister remarked with great satisfaction. In the past, Ching Bai wasn't at home. A woman on her own with three children wasn't easy especially since she was still young at that time, said second sister. She pinpointed this as the cause. Eldest brother thought so too. For a woman, the rest wasn't important. Just can't go without a man in the family. The men in the family are just like the pillars, how can they do without pillars? Eldest sister and second sister both had very traditional minds. But because of this mind, they both lived very contentedly. Although the parents-in-law were partial to the first branch on second sister's side, the couple had have moved out now. No matter what happens in the future, it won't affect them. So the heart was at ease. Eldest sister, I'm afraid it will take a while to pay back the money I owe you. Second sister told eldest sister. Live your life well first, before we talk about it. Eldest sister didn't mind much. The conditions at her home weren't great, but she wasn't in a hurry to spend money. The two sisters talked all the way until the point of splitting away. Only then they took their man home. Lin Qing, he didn't know about the sister's conversation revolving around her. She was in the middle of steaming red beans. She was planning to make some red bean mantu. The red beans were boiled until the water is gone. Use a spoon to pound these cooked red beans into red bean paste. Then add the appropriate amount of sugar and stir well. Afterward, scoop it out, put it on the rolled dough, wrap it up, and put it in the pot. The steamed out mantu will come out with red bean paste filling. It was just slightly sweet. Still, Zhou Ching Bai can eat seven of this mantu in one meal. The boys especially liked them. Not to mention Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. Each can eat a few with the soup made with crushed sesame and peanuts. Seeing how freezing this year's winter was, they didn't go to the city to play. Wait until it's almost spring and see. It was better to take a photo once a year as a memory keepsake. Zhou Qing Bai and his two younger sons had nothing to do and went hunting pheasants and hares every day. Lin Qing, he cooked up wonderful food at home when idle. Speaking of which, the busiest was De Hua. He memorized texts, solved math problems, and wrote essays. On the seventh day of the first month, Lin Qing, he gave him a day off. Your father and your uncle are going to a place farther away to hunt pheasants. Want T.I. go with them? Lin Qing, he asked. De Hua was really excited, so he looked at his father. Zhou Qingbai had no objection, but stated, don't hold us back. I definitely won't. De Hua immediately vowed. Because the place they were going was so far away, Er Hua and Sand Hua couldn't join. It was no problem for De Hua. This kid was still developing, comparable to an average 14-year-old. He was already 1 meter 60. Last year, he sprouted 10 centimeters. During this winter, she got to make two new sets for him. Last year's ones can't be worn. What's more, his physical fitness was great. 
If it weren't for the extreme cold, he would go for a run with his father. Once third brother Lin came over, they set off together. Each carried a hatchet for emergency situations. After all, in winter, it wasn't strange for large wild animals to come out for food. Of course, Zhou Qingbai didn't need it. He was quite capable, can handle with his bare hands. A wolf might not be his opponent. Third brother Lin and A Wa had one each, there was also Mantu. They didn't need to come back to eat at noon. Just having Mantu outside. It was just one meal, so don't worry about it. A hearty meal will be made when they come back tonight. It was getting dark, nearly reaching the evening when Zhou Qing Bai, De Hua, and third brother Lin dragged a giant creature back. Yes, a giant creature. Wild boar. Lin Qing, his eyes bulged out as she uttered in surprise. This giant creature that was dragged back on a wooden board was truly a wild boar with fangs. Today, they went hunting pheasants, b. Ut unexpectedly, such a big wild boar was brought back. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou came over. Obviously, they were surprised to see such a big wild boar. Are Qing Bai and A Wa okay? Mother Zhou hurriedly asked. They're fine. Father, mother, don't worry. Lin Qing, he comforted. Third brother Lin was fine too. Speaking of this wild boar, there was a certain element of luck. It was Zhou Qing Bai who dealt the greatest damage. He struck this thick-skinned wild boar twice and forced the wild boar to charge toward him. What ability did Zhou Qing Bai? He deliberately chopped at it. It just happened that it slammed into the boulder when Zhou Qing Bai dodged. Then another two strikes were added and the wild boar was dead. Although the process described by De Hua sounded simple, it was obviously thrilling on the spot. At this time, the three of them were all eating. They had ribs noodles. Also a bowl of scrambled eggs as an accompaniment. Including Zhou Qing Bai, they were all devouring. Even a brawny man like Zhou Qing Bai was drained after dragging such a wild boar back from such a far place. Especially when they only ate two mantu at noon. They weren't filling at all. After seeing all three of them were in perfect condition, Mother Zhou was relieved. Dillager standing outside the door wanted to get some benefit and couldn't endure any more. Teacher Lin, this wild boar is such a big one. How about dividing it? Before Lin Qing, he opened her mouth, Mother Zhou spouted, you can dream on. My family's Qing Bai and the others used their life to get it. You want to get it by opening your mouth. Why don't you fly to heaven? Our family can't finish this meat. However, De Hua will enter high school this year. Our family normally got large expenses. There's not much money left. This wild boar came at the right time. Lin Qing, he said. Everyone understood at once. This was for sale? Isn't De Hua in the first year of junior high school? Why is he going to high school? someone asked. Planning to skip a grade this year and directly enter the second year. Isn't there a high school entrance exam in the second semester? Lynching has said. Everyone was in an uproar. This boar meat count as a normal exchange. It's not selling. The family got no choice, they got to provide for the children's education. If anyone wants to report my fourth boy selling, then you can try. My ancestors were more than a dozen generations of poor peasants. We just want to produce a college student to serve the country. Father Zhou stated. Chapter 210 My heart aches, Brother Zhou, don't be like this. If the villagers dare to do that shameful thing, we will testify for you. The leader immediately stepped up. Others, who had good relations with the old Zhou family, expressed their stance. For now, no one was willing to offend the old Zhou family. A figure like Zhou Qingbai had connections in the security bureau. Which of the several production teams didn't look for him for help when they need pesticides and fertilizers? Also Lin Qinghe. She was now a teacher at the community's junior high school. There was a chance that the students under her teaching will get admitted to the university. How many students had she taught? 
how many connections will she have? Of course, the most important thing was De Wa. This young teen he just entered the first year of junior high school and already planned to skip to the second year to prepare to enter high school. What kind of genius was this? In the old society from the past, he might possibly become a provincial exam graduate, Jiren. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that the old Zhou family will climb up. Moreover, the old Zhou family had always been very friendly in the village. When anyone ever needed help, they would lend a hand. So even if some people have some thoughts in their hearts, they won't dare to say anything now, when they saw the village's stance. The pig killers in the village were fetched to come and slaughter it. The villagers allocated pork at the end of last year was basically finished during this Chinese New Year. If this year's wild boar wasn't bought, they will have to wait until this year's slack season. So many people came over and bought a lot back. Zhou Dong also brought Kai Ba Mei along with him to buy some. This wild boar was very nourishing. Perfect chance to buy some back to stew for his wife for breastfeeding. It sold by Jean. Since it was his own fellow villagers, Zhou Qingbai gave more than standard as he had good interpersonal skills. Not too much, just 50-100 G extra. It depended on the friendship. If they had a good friendship, he can give it to 50-100 G. If it's SOSO, only 25 G more was cut out. This was how trades work in the village. Can't be helped, they lived in the same area. When Zhou Dong came over, Lin Qing, he gave him two trotters and told him to take them back and stew them until soft to help his wife on producing milk. Zhou Dong was grateful. Mrs. Kai was standing beside her. She grinned when she witnessed this and said, Qing Bai's wife, come over often and sit around. Then I won't be polite with aunt. Lin Qing, he replied with a smile. Others came over to buy. Even eldest brother, second brother, and third brother. Charged them like usual, but the cut of meat was a lot larger. In general, this wild boar was a hot sale. Everyone who bought the boar meat was satisfied. This big wild boar weighed nearly 400 jeans. Zhou Qingbai sold it according to the class of meat first, second, and third. The total earning was more than 270 yuan. Third brother Lin was paid 50 yuan as well as a large piece of fatty meat, which about four jeans. No need. Brother-in-law, this is too much. Third brother Lin blushed in shame. To be honest, when he saw this big wild boar, he was shocked still. It was De Wa who pulled him to run. This wild boar was basically hunted down by his brother-in-law alone. Otherwise, with his small body, he would have been sent flying to the west by one charge. What wild boar hunting? It was only when the wild boar was transported home, he contributed some strength. Take it. Zhou Qingbai stated. Lin Qing, he took the money and stuffed it into third brother Lin's hand, your brother-in-law told you to take it, so take it. It's so late now. If you don't head back, your wife and children will probably worry. Sister, this is too much. Third brother Lin quickly said. It was you who came to find your brother-in-law to go hunting. If you didn't, he won't be able to encounter this wild boar. Enough now, hurry back. Lin Qing, he ushered. Third brother Lin was very embarrassed. Still, he took the meat back. As expected, third sister-in-law Lin was worried. It was so late, and her own man hadn't returned yet. It can't be that something had happened? Third sister-in-law Lin couldn't imagine what kind of life it'll be if her own man met with an accident. She waited at the door. No matter how cold it was, she wasn't afraid. After waiting a little over an hour, she finally waited for her man's return. Third sister-in-law Lin wanted to cry when she saw third brother Lin. But before she had the chance to cry, she noticed the meat in his hands and froze. Why is there such a big piece of meat? Third brother Lin led her inside and drank hot water to warm his body. Only then, he recounted today's thrilling experience. They didn't catch any pheasant or hare. 
Instead, they met a big wild boar that came out looking for food. This had scared third sister-in-law Lynn Silly. One wild boar can toy with a few adult men. I was shocked silly at the time. Dewa pulled me up the tree. My brother-in-law handled it by himself. My brother-in-law gave me 50 yuan for the effort I put in on the way back. He took out the money and said embarrassedly. I don't know what luck you've got to encounter such sister and brother-in-law. Third sister-in-law Lin stared at the money. There was also such a big piece of meat. Her heart was also full of gratitude. Looking at her foolish man, she remarked. Third brother Lin grinned and gave her the money, you keep the money. We should send our eldest daughter to school next year. Okay. Third sister-in-law Lin opened her mouth with intent to object, but nodded in the end due to the importance third sister had attached to education. As for Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qinghe. Even though it was a fright this time, it was still a huge income. After giving third brother Lin 50 yuan, there were still 200 yuans, and so yuans left. They had also set aside a lot of meat for themselves to eat. Erwa and San Hua were pestering their eldest brother to tell them about their father's brave act for the fifth time and how he single-handedly knocked down this 400 jean wild boar. Lin Qing, he was already stripping Zhou Qing Bai's clothes in their room. She didn't believe that this man was left unharmed by such a big wild boar. As expected, she found bruisings on his thigh. Next time I find out you that you dare to use your life for such a small amount of money, I won't be done with you. Lin Qing, he turned around and grabbed the medicinal liquor for bruises. She glared at Zhou Qing Bai as she huffed. It's just a small injury. Zhou Qing Bai paid it no heed. When he was in the army, he was injured more severely than this. This time he was extra cautious, so there was no substantial damage. This one was due to accidentally bumping into the boulder. Lin Qing, he said, you're not taking this seriously? Zhou Qing Bai observed her, I will pay attention next time. Lin Qing, he felt helpless. She understood his meaning. It was impossible for him to give up a big wild boar that was delivered to the door. Our family has a huge saving of more than 5,000 yuan. No need to do this. You being like this makes my heart ache. Lin Qing, he said while rubbing the medicinal wine on him. This man had always regarded himself as an iron man. Didn't he know that he was also made of flesh and blood? Zhou Qingbai softly gazed at his wife, who had her head lowered as she rubbed medicinal wine to him. Chapter 211 Beating Lin Qing, he looked up after rubbing the medicinal wine and saw this man watching her. She paused and said, what are you looking at? I'll pay attention next time. Zhou Qingbai vowed. Lin Qing, he snorted and laughed, you don't have to pay attention. If you met with a mishap, then don't hope for me to stay as a widow for you. I will take your sons and remarry. Then let your sons call another man their fathers. Zhou Qing Bai's face turned black. Lin Qing, he didn't bother with him, turned around, and headed out. Zhou Qing Bai felt powerless. His wife really dared to say anything. She could actually say the word remarry in front of him. But when Zhou Qing Bai imagined that kind of picture of her becoming another's woman and his sons were another's, he couldn't accept it. So, he really had to take good care of himself. Lin Qing, he came out to check Dewa's body. Dewa assured, Mother, you really don't have to worry. Neither my uncle nor I got involved. It was my father who beat the wild boar down. Up to now, Dewa was still a little excited when speaking about this. His father was really strong. He was very envious of his skill. He wanted to learn from his father. Lin Qing, he didn't know about it yet. Dewa privately sought his father and brought it up. Zhou Qing Bai had no objection. Learn if he wants to. Ever since this wild boar incident, Dewa began to learn martial arts with his father. With this training, Dewa's appetite became larger than his father. Lin Qing, he felt that if her family didn't have some kind of shady income, she really can't have such a son. What's more, there were two more. 
wild boar pork was eaten up to the end of January. It should have been warmer at the end of January, but it was still cold this year. Until now, the temperature hadn't risen. Guess this will affect the spring plowing. Lin Qing, he took a morning off that day and then came to the city to get rid of the scraps she had accumulated. After accumulating for half a month, it was the 15th of January, the day she and Zhou Qingbai brought the children to the city to take photos and have fun as well as selling a batch. This batch was the most recent batch bought from Sister May. This year was 75. Although it was still a bit strict, the atmosphere was much better than the earlier few years. Regardless of whether it was her or Sister May, they were all veterans in this area. There had never been a slip-up. Sister May exchanged money from her, while she can make a lot of money from selling a jean. This time, there was a net profit of nearly 30 yuan. It was like this for half a month. Goes to shows how great the demand for meat was in the market now. Lin Qing, he took two baskets from the space and came to the black market to buy eggs. The demand for eggs at home was astounding. Extremely high. She had to buy some back every time she came over. As for the rest, there wasn't much to buy. They were all in stock at home. Lin Qing, he bought some school supplies and went home. Seventh or eighth days into January, it started to warm up on this day. However, within two days of warming, another swoop of cold weather came, and it fell back again. T slash N, wait, I'm confused. They had a family outing on the 15th and now it comes back to July 8th, th. What to do? Some old people in the village began to worry. It was still this cold now. This year's farming will be affected. It wasn't until mid-February that the weather finally warmed up. Everyone was dispatched then. This year's spring plowing was 10 days slower than the previous year. Still, not a moment can be delayed anymore, or else they can just gnaw on barks this year. This year, Dewa entered second year. When the school started, he had gone to the principal's office to let the second year's teachers give questions. Then he passed the exam. Each subject was over 90 points, so naturally, there will be no problems. Still, the teachers were very surprised. Naturally, they asked Lin Qing, he, how she taught him. How could he become so smart? Lin Qing, he expressed that the kid who worked hard and wanted to help shoulder the burden of the family. Although it didn't cost much to study at this time, a semester cost about 10 yuan, which was a lot of money for farmers. Dewa skipped the second semester of first year and the first semester of second year, which meant he saved 20 yuan. 20 yuans was enough for him to drink milk for a period of time. The milkman had resumed delivering milk. Two bottles of milk a day were a must for Dewa. The teachers in the school all received a salary. They originally thought Dewa would be at least 14 years old, not 11. The female teachers were very surprised. Teacher Lin, how do you feed him? Teacher Su asked. Lin Qing, he laughed it off. There's no special feeding. Just three meals a day. Besides that, I ordered two bottles of milk for him in the morning. Afraid that's not cheap? Another teacher said. It's not. But a child only gets those few years to grow taller. It's the golden time he got to be nourished. I hope he can grow as tall as his father in the future. Lin Qing, he replied. Needless to say, Zhou Qingbai's height was quite tall. The few teachers were married and had children. After hearing her words, they all had their own thoughts. Lin Qing, he didn't say much. Everyone had their own way of raising children. What's more, she and they were not from the same generation. Her educational philosophy was from later generations, so they can't learn from her. After all, in her opinion, spending $10 a month to buy fresh, natural, and pollution-free milk for the children was really good value. But the 10 yuan at this time was really a lot. A family of three in the city can use that for a month if they were frugal. The 11-year-old Dewa's height was comparable to the 14-year-old's. It was really no problem for Dewa to enter the second year. 
De Waugh was can really adapt. He soon gained a foothold in the class. He also started to study second year's knowledge seriously, because there was no need to skip grades in the future. It was fine to study according to the class rank step by step. However, Lin Qing, he still paid attention to him and always quizzed him. These were normal homework for De Wa. Now he can gather a lot of pig grass for the pig farm after class. Because of his attendance, San Hua stopped gathering pig grass. Once school was over, the school bag was tossed aside and directly went out to play. Both little Su Ching and little Su Sun were also sent back. Little Su Sun was always with Mother Zhou, while little Su Ching was San Hua's tail. As soon as San Hua was home from school, he was playing around with his third brother. The days were peaceful when second sister abruptly came back to her maternal home. Her face had a tear, what's more, a claw mark. What happened? Mother Zhou questioned with a black face. Mother, you gather up my brothers. We're going to old Huang's family to settle the account, declared second sister. Her husband's family was old Huang's family. Her injury was caused by her eldest sister-in-law and her mother-in-law ganging up on her. And her eldest sister-in-law's maternal sister-in-law, too. At this moment, there was no time. All the guys hadn't come back from the field. But it didn't matter, the Zhou Qing Bai and his brothers were soon fetched by Zhou Danai. Mother Zhou also went to call a few women who knew how to handle wretched people. Then they charged off to the old Huang's house. Chapter 212 Fight Lin Qing, he didn't know about it. She heard about it from little Su Cheng's story after getting off work. Second aunt was beaten. Grandma took uncles and the others to fight back. Little Su Ching explained. Where are your third brother and the others? Lin Qing, he asked. Third brother, followed them. I stay at home to watch the house. Little Su Ching replied. Don't judge according to Su De Lin's gentlemanly behavior, little Su Ching grew up in the countryside. He often fought with other children, especially since he mingled with his third brother. So when he heard that his grandma and the others were going over to fight, it wasn't shocking at all for him. He wasn't afraid either. Lin Qing, he wanted to laugh when she saw him like this. She rubbed his little head and said, It's wrong to fight, but if someone else hits you, then you can fight back. You don't have to endure it. I know. No one dared to hit me. Little Su Ching proudly stated. He had so many elder brothers. Last time there was someone who was older than him. He couldn't beat him. When he came back, he quietly told his third brother. His third brother went to get him back for him without saying a word. Of course Lin Qing, he was clueless about these things. Even if she knew, she won't say anything. There might be something wrong with her way of education, but boys really had to be roughly raised when they are young, especially in the countryside. When boys, who have never fought with others, grow up, their childhood will inevitably felt a little imperfect. Of course one had to know when enough was enough. Lin Qing, he inquired with Mrs. Kai. Mrs. Kai knew about it, she told her that Mother Zhou had called a few women in the village. Lin Qing, he knew in her mind that they were all very fierce women in the village. So she took some leftovers that she got from Sister Mei yesterday and stewed it with starch noodles. Mother Zhou had gathered four people, so she divided it into four big bowls. All of them were big portions. Zhou Qing Bai and the others didn't come back until around seven o'clock. After they came back, Lin Qing, he had already prepared the food. It went without saying, she had to help entertain them, like a guest. They stayed for a meal. Afterward, each was gifted this bowl of stewed noodles with meat. It made the few who were called to help delighted. This kind of thing was very common in the countryside calling the village's fierce ones to seek justice for their married daughter. It was enough to have them stay for a meal. It was rare to see one like Lin Qing, he, preparing food for them to bring back. They all said that they would wash the bowl and send it over later. And if anyone dared to bully the married-off daughters of the village, they can also call for them. 
Once everything was mostly over, Lin Qing, he finally had the time to ask Mother Zhou what was going on. Mother Zhou spat out in disgust, this old Huang family really treat my old Zhou family non-existent. Just those three melons and two dates, they withered as soon as we went over. She understood her second daughter's temper. To be able to force her to come back to her maternal family to file a complaint, how can they show any politeness? Simply called for reinforcement as well as her daughter's brother and directly charge over for the kill. Once they arrived, Huang family's old pious woman and eldest daughter-in-law pinned down on the ground by accompanying fellow old women and received a beating. Huang family's men didn't even dare to move. Just cleaning up old Huang family wasn't enough. They also charged to the Huang family's eldest daughter-in-law's maternal family. They were from the same village, so it was very convenient. They went over and slapped that sister-in-law who had participated in beating second sister. Naturally, that maternal family won't stand for it. They also had many brothers and immediately stepped in. But before they could do anything, they were knocked down by Zhou Qingbai alone. Eldest brother and the others didn't even have to move. Zhou Qingbai did not step in when the women were fighting. However, Zhou Qingbai won't have any hesitation with men. All of Huang's eldest daughter-in-law's maternal brothers moaned on the ground. None of them dared to get up anymore. As soon as they got up, Zhou Qingbai swept one leg over. Who would dare to climb up? Have to say, Zhou Qingbai had protective genes. After all, Zhou Qingbai knew what his second sister's temper was like. Even when she was forced to go back to her maternal family to borrow money to move out the year before, she wouldn't complain. This time she was beaten back to her maternal family to ask for help. Of course, Zhou Qingbai stand up it for her and give her justice. After the fight, everyone sat down and discussed. Naturally, apology was a must. Not only did they apologize, they had give compensation. It was a rare opportunity for Mother Zhou to give justice for her daughter once, how could she let old Huang family off so easily? Wasn't the family separation unfair last time? This time, the old grudge and the new hatred were settled together. On the way over, Mother Zhou clarified the situation to her helpers. It was best for them to bring up these things. So they helped second sister get another hundred yuan as family separation allowance. With this, the beating matter was over. Only then Huangha Production Village realized that old Huang family's second daughter-in-law wasn't without a family. They finally made their move and now old Huang family became injured. What's more, they had to pinch their nose to accept this lesson. It was very likely they would never dare to give this second daughter-in-law attitude again. Lin Qing, he admired their handiwork. But really, only this way worked. Moreover, the combat power of these few villagers were very good. One can stand against two. Lin Qing, he felt that this meal and the bowl of stewed maya and noodles was worth the value. After a while, their family's kids returned the clean bowl. The next day, second sister came back again. This time, there was a smile on her face. She brought over the 100 yuan of family separation allowance that her mother had fought for her yesterday. First, she paid back the money to her maternal sisters-in-law. As for the money, she still owe her eldest sister and younger sister, put that on hold for a while. Don't blame your sisters-in-law for not joining in. They aren't old Huang family shrew's opponent. When we came back yesterday, Dewa's mother made a lot of dishes to serve those who helped us. Mother Zhou explained. I'll note down what mother said in my heart. Second sister smiled. Naturally she wouldn't mind. Her four younger brothers all participated, which was enough. Made Ching Bai's wife break her wallet. Second sister, continued. Mother Zhou didn't say anything. The money was accepted first and said, now the old age care are written in black and white. In the future, they will stick with the first branch, but you still need to contribute to old age care. Just send the food on time. Remember to let the neighbors witness it to prevent that one born with black-hearted say you gave old grain.
Mother Zhao had lived a lifetime. She had seen countless types. Some will be like this. Clearly the daughter-in-law sent new grains as filial piety, but it was twisted into old grains. There was such an incident in the village before. Fortunately, the daughter-in-law left a leeway. When delivering over she encountered people and gave them a look. After the news spread, she had some to vouch for her. If not, she would really be wronged. Second sister acknowledged this advice. Even though they received a beating this time, second sister got to see them pinned down and get hit. Her accumulated anger over the past several years were released when she saw their crying and howling appearance her whole spirit was different. Why else would the rural desperately fight for a son? From this fight, one can see the advantages of having sons in the family. Chapter 213 Study hard, when Lin Qing, he got off work, Mother Zhou returned the money she had lent to second sister, to her. 50 yuans At that time, Lin Qing, he loaned 50 yuans, to second sister. Eldest sister-in-law and second sister-in-law gave 20 yuans each. 10 yuans from third sister-in-law. But no matter how much it was, it was always the thought that counts. How second sister sighed? Lin Qing, he asked after taking the money. It's fine. I believe they don't dare to be presumptuous anymore. Mother Zhou replied. In fact, the cause of this incident was due to old Mrs. Huang wanting to covet second sister's pot, which second sister gained from exchanging all of her money with someone. That pot wasn't new at all. It had two holes. But for people nowadays, this pot was still acceptable. Because there were four or five holes in the pot in the old Huang family, old Mrs. Huang wanted to come and take it as she knew second sister made an exchange for one. Second brother-in-law wasn't at home at the time. When he reached home, second sister had already returned to her maternal home to fetch reinforcement. He was furious when he learned that his wife was beaten by his mother, his eldest sister-in-law, and others. Once Mother Zhou led people over to press his mother to the ground and hit her until screaming and wailing in front of him, second brother-in-law ignored her. His mother was really an oppressive bully. This was the end of this matter. Inevitably, Mother Zhou did spread around in the village that the old Huang family were crooks. Mother Zhou had a good reputation in the village. What's more, the villagers also know what kind of personality second sister had. So it was known how bullying old Huang family were. Especially since the few shrews in the village, who were treated to a meal as well as given a big bowl of stewed noodles with meat by Lin Qinghe, talked about simply forcing people into death road. Lin Qing, he said, it'll be good if they can settle down for two years. Soon a new era was coming. Better not stir any more moss before this new era comes. Mother Zhou gave no response. In mid-April, there was heavy rain. A truly heavy rain. This kind of rain generally only existed in summer. Never thought it would rain so hard not long after the beginning of spring. Some people's houses in the village collapsed. Fortunately, there were no casualties. Lin Qing, he smoked their home with RG Wormwood Leaf. Only then she can be slightly relieved. She mentioned, don't know when we can get electricity in this village. Currently, there was no electricity in the countryside. While the county city already had electricity. Soon. Zhou Qing Bai assured. Lin Qing, he felt that when the village has electricity, she was most likely not here anymore. She had it all planned out. When the college entrance examination resumes, she'll leave. Of course, she will take her men and children together. She can't leave them in the countryside. What are you thinking? Seeing her looking out the window in a daze, Zhou Qingbai asked. Think of the college entrance examination. Lin Qing, he replied. Zhou Qingbai stared at her. Lin Qing, he patted her man's handsome face and said, when the time comes, you father and sons will have to accompany me, understand? No household registration. They can't study in other places. Zhou Qingbai looked at her and stated. Lin Qing, he was taken aback. 
it came to her. The management of household registration was extremely strict. Unless the household registration was moved, otherwise it won't be easy to execute. Then what to do? Lin Qing, he looked at him blankly. You go studying. We will wait for you at home. Zhou Qingbai pursed his lips and said. Naturally, he was reluctant to separate from her. He didn't even dare to think of that kind of scene. But he couldn't stop her from making progress. He knew she valued this college entrance examination very much. She wanted to ride the first boast. This exam was the best way to climb the ladder. Lin Qing, he looked at him and said, You're staying at home, while I'm going to study. How can I bear to leave? Zhou Qingbai grinned and replied, Then you get an excellent result in the exam. Maybe there will be an exception. He was just saying this, but Lin Qing, he took it seriously. If she can pass the exam with amazing results, she will have a chance to fight for that opportunity. So Lin Qing, he nodded seriously, looked at him, and declared, I will work hard. Zhou Qingbai said, Don't put pressure on yourself, the days are still long in the future. She had said that the future country will be unrestricted and developed. He can afford to wait, as long as, as long as she doesn't get fascinated by the men outside who are better than him. Of course, Zhou Qingbai didn't utter this. This man was confident, but when he encountered his wife, he wasn't that confident. A woman like his wife was naturally extremely exceptional. She will attract people's attention when she goes out. Still, Zhou Qingbai didn't pressure his wife. However, it was no problem to put pressure on his son. He came to talk to Dewa. What, can my knowledge be compared with my mother? Dewa was shocked. Then looked at his father seriously, Father, I'm only in second year now. He didn't know what's his mother's knowledge level, but he did know it definitely won't be lower than that of high school. He even saw it. His mother had already learned everything in the second year of high school. Dewa held deep admiration. He felt that he was inferior to his mother. He never thought his father to ask this. Zhou Qingbai glanced at his eldest son, coldly. Dewa was not surprised. He just asked, Father, why are you asking me this? If your mother wants to take university entrance exams in the future, I hope you can enter the same university as your mother. Zhou Qingbai voiced his plan. He and his two younger sons can't follow. The household registration was a big problem. However, his eldest son could. The reason why his wife got him to skip a grade was to let him catch the first bus. Therefore, this eldest son was the last person Zhou Qingbai can rely on. Dewa was stunned, mother is going to take college entrance? What, she can't? Zhou Qingbai said indifferently. It's not impossible. With mother's knowledge, she can definitely pass. But if mother gets admitted to college, what will happen to the family? Dewa asked. We have your grandmother. Zhou Qingbai said. Dewa wanted to say that grandmother was grandmother and mother is mother, they can't be compared. However, he didn't refute it, and just honestly stated, I'll work hard. Whether I can enter the same university as my mother, we will see when that time. At present, no point comparing. The questions he did were all given by his mother. How can he beat his mother? Zhou Qingbai didn't force his eldest son. He got up and left. Dewa rubbed his chin. Was his father worried that if his mother goes to university, she will be tempted away by others? That's why he wants him to keep watch. Dewa felt it was very possible. His mother was so beautiful and highly educated. If she goes to university, then there will be no ends of suitors. At the thought of losing mother, Dewa became fired up. He must study, like really hard. Lin Qing, he was clueless about this. She made something delicious and went back to the room to quietly learn English. To enable her to break through the siege, English was a weapon of advantage. Chapter 214 Came pleading, as time goes by, it was May. During this time, the weather was already starting to heat up. 
there were some vegetables in the backyard of the house ready to eat. Of course, leeks had been eaten a long time ago. The leek pockets were the family's favorite. Lin Ching, he had to teach. She was very busy every day. Sister May had a job again. The pork business was still continued. Her man worked on a pig farm. He can get a little supply with this position, so why not do it? The city doesn't seem to be peaceful, for a while. There's no problem with your next customer, right? Sister May asked in a hushed voice when she came over to get meat that day. No problem. Lin Ching, he nodded and asked her what was going on. I heard those red soldiers from outside came over. There's unrest in the city for a while, Sister May said. It'll be all right after this period passes, Lin Ching, he responded. After coming here, she came to know of some things in this era, such as these red soldiers. They were so active. But it'll come to an end. They will disappear next year and won't stir any trouble. But still, the movement caused by this group of red soldiers from outside was quite large. The worst off among them was Wang Ling and Zhou He, who were criticized for adultery. Because of the black history of the past, the two of them were naturally kicked over. Zhou He was said to been carried back. What's more, he also became a eunuch. Wang Ling was just as miserable. Her face was beaten swollen. Even people close to her couldn't recognize her. Because of the ruckus in the city, everyone in the village had been avoiding both of them like a plague for a while. Nothing happened in Zhou Jia village, while the same can't be said for old Lin family. It was third brother Lin who came to inform them. Old second Lin dare to get entangled with a widow in the village? Does he want to die? Lin Qing, he exclaimed in surprise. The environment during this moment was extremely strict, second brother Lin still dared to commit crimes against the convention. Also his wife, she wasn't one to be quiet. The village has always been fine and didn't know that ruckus outside is so fierce. Just yesterday, they got taken away. Third brother Lin said, our parents and the others are about to come and ask brother-in-law for help. Lin Qing he sneered, old Lin family wants to get him. Well, it'll depend on how much they can pay. Third brother Lin pursed his lips and said, Sister, even though there are bickers in the past, we're still a family. Old second Lin and I aren't a family. Same with the old couple. There is no reason to take back the married-off daughter and splashed out water. Lin Ching, he said heartlessly. She wasn't the original owner. Even when she inherited the body, she won't support the original owner's parents. Of course, if the original owner's parents were good, it would be too much to not help. However, what kind of thing was that old couple? She had no tendency of looking for abuse. These kinds who use old age as an excuse had nothing to do with her. She won't be polite at all. Father and mother will be here soon, said third brother Lin. He didn't leave either. Sure enough, after a short while, Father Lin and Mother Lin arrived. It was rare for the old couple to come together. They had no choice. If they didn't come, their second son will be finished. They had to come even if they don't want to. But it was just the old couple themselves. As for eldest brother Lin and second sister-in-law Lin, neither came. Oh, the two of you can actually come all the way to see me, the splashed out water. What rare visitors. Lin Qing, he straightforwardly uttered. Qing, he, ah, you have to save your second brother. You can't be so unconscionable and not rescue when seeing one dying. Mother Lin sobbed. Lin Qing, he snorted, if you think this set of moves are effective on me, you can continue to sob. I will watch. Qing, he, you are now a teacher of communities junior high school. Don't you care about your reputation? Mother Lin stared at her. This weasel look had Lin Qing, he disdained from the bottom of her heart. She sneered, what's my reputation? If you dare to label me as an unfilial girl, then I will let you be criticized for the feudal parenting style. Those people will not let you off, because you are old. 
Mother Lin was trembling with anger. You, you treat me, your mother like this? Aren't you afraid that your sons will treat you the same way in the future? Pack away that move. Is your treatment toward me the same as my treatment toward my sons? They know how I treat them. And I know how you treat me. How much money had I taken back to supplement Old Lin family? How much work had I done for Old Lin family since I was a child? Especially when I married Zhou Qing Bai, how much money I took from him. I think I don't owe you Old Lin family at all. Lin Qing he blandly stated. Mother Lin was steaming mad. She wanted to sit on the ground and throw a fit. As soon as she plopped down, Lin Qing he grabbed a stool, sat down, and said indifferently, do cause a scene. I'll just watch it here. Mother Lin couldn't continue. She never thought this daughter to be so cruel and unfeeling. Where is Qing Bai? Father Lin asked, looking at this daughter. Gone to work. There are so many people in my family, what do we eat if he doesn't go to work? Lin Qing, he indifferently answered. Qing, he, father knows we did you wrong in some area in the past. But we are one family, there's nothing that can't let go. This time, your second brothers matter. Before Father Lin finished speaking, Lin Qing, he interrupted him, don't say it's my second brother. Old second Lin is not my second brother. I don't have a second brother like him. Simply too shameful. Someone with a wife still has an unclear relationship with a widow. Who could be blamed for being caught? Father Lin was angry, what happened had happened, what else can you do? Can't you help him? You're going to watch him get arrested like this? How can I help? I'm just a teacher from a community junior high school. Didn't he get caught and get sent to the county city? I have no power to help at all. Lin Qing, he responded. In fact, she really didn't want to help. This kind of thing wasn't a small matter now. How can it be so easy to release? After all, this was an age where one can report. If old second Lin committed a crime and was released out, what about the others? Won't others also be able to get out? At that time, Zhou Qing Bai might also get implicated. So Lin Qing, he didn't want to help at all. Seeing that her cruel daughter was really going to let him wither away, Mother Lin just screamed, heartless girl. Our old Lin family's cruel daughter. Her own second brother was arrested and she won't save him. How can there be such an inhumane daughter? Old lady, continue to howl. In a bit, let everyone decide later if choosing righteous over family loyalty is right. Lin Qing, his expression remained unchanged as she uncaringly stated. Sister. Third brother Lin compressed his lips and looked at his sister. Shut up. Lin Qing, he threw a gaze at him and said, really foolish. Even old eldest Lin and old second Lin's wife didn't show up for fear of getting implicated. While you just blindly run around and not going to work. You don't need to raise your wife and children? Chapter 215 Released out after being told off, third brother Lin couldn't speak. Lin Qing, he didn't go at him anymore. Her younger brother was kind and pure. This family of bad bamboo only produced him, the single good shoot. If not, she wouldn't get connected with him. Second brother Lin didn't do any merit to third brother Lin. The last time third brother Lin wanted to move out, second brother Lin often encouraged him to break off from the family. This was what third sister-in-law told her in private. But now that something happened to him, second brother, he, third brother, was still happy to help run errands. Father Lin and Mother Lin can tell that this daughter really had no intention to get involved in this matter. Mother Lin stopped making a scene. Her eyes displayed her desire to eat up Lin Qinghe. If you won't help old second, this old lady will die here. Mother Lin got up and viciously hissed. Then I will give a little money for your coffin and let you be buried in beautifully. Lin Qing, he nodded. Threatening her? Not happening. If they can threaten once, they will threaten a second time. This time was old second Lin's business, what will be next time? So she won't let this matter have a beginning. Good. 
Very good. I'll let you see me die. Mother Lin declared and immediately charged to hit against the wall. Lin Qing, he didn't bat an eyelid. While third brother Lin was so frightened that he hurriedly stopped her, Mother, talk it out. Don't go seeking death. You heartless person. I birthed you and raised you. Now you repay us like this. You just watch me, your mother die in front of you. Mother Lin ignored her son and glared directly at Lin Qinghe. She was about to hit the wall and die and she was still indifferent. She didn't say a word. That appearance was as if she wasn't her mother. Old lady, your daughter had already died. She was already dead when she went back to her family's house to ask for money and didn't get it. You come to make trouble with me, I won't care about you. Lin Qing, he apathetically said. That's enough. Let me tell you, even if you don't recognize me, I'm still your mother. Mother Lin gritted her teeth. If there is nothing else, then quickly go back. Otherwise, my mother-in-law will come over in a bit. It won't be easily dropped like this. Some time ago, my mother-in-law gathered women from the village and went to help my second sister, on husband's side, beat up her mother-in-law and sister-in-law. No one dared to say anything. Lin Qing, he said. Mother Lin, who bully the weak and fear the strong, changed her expression when hearing this. She heard about this. After all, Zhoujia village wasn't that far away from old Lin's house. What's more, this incident was magnified. After all, the people were gathered to beat someone. It'll definitely get spread around. As long as you get Qing Bai to help get your second brother out, we won't bother you in the future. If you want to sever the relationship with the old Lin family, no problem. Father Lin gritted his teeth. It's happening no matter what. I broke it off from my side. It's your business to keep your side. It's nothing to do with me. Anyway, don't even think of getting a penny from me. However, when you pass, I will contribute a little bit. Lin Qing, he snorted and said. Then tell me, what does it take for you to help in this matter? Father Lin stared at her. I'll go to the city to check on old second Lin's matter. Zhou Qing Bai walked in from outside and stated. Lin Qing, he frowned and looked at him and said, aren't you working? Why are you back? Also, you can't help on old second Lin's matter. I'm just checking. Zhou Qing Bai sent her an assuring gaze. Lin Qing, he swept to Father Lin and Mother Lin, listen well. My Qing Bai only agreed to go over and check. Old Second Lin committed a crime. He deserves the punishment. Whether he can be released or what happened after the release, you can solve it yourself. If you dare to attack my family in the future, I will just let the dog bite people. Father Lin and Mother Lin knew that she was ruthless. They both turned to Zhou Qing Bai. Zhou Qing Bai ignored it, my wife has the final say in the family affairs. The old couple choked on blood. Still, Zhou Qing Bai went over to make an inquiry. He rode a bicycle to the county city. Old Second Lin was arrested yesterday. When Zhou Qing Bai saw him, second brother Lin had already been beaten to into a mess. Qing Bai, brother-in-law, hurry. Hurry up and save me. Quickly get me out. Old Second Lin scrambled and crawled over at the sight of him. But before he got there, he was kicked back by a red soldier. Old Second Lin didn't even dare to put one fart. He just looked at Zhou Qing Bai with pleading eyes. Zhou Qing Bai ignored him and went out to find his comrade in arms. His incident isn't serious. The widow said she has nothing to do with him. It's just that he had the intent to. That's why he got a beating. You can take him back. His comrade took out the file and said. The widow just clenched her teeth and persisted that there was no connection because if there was, she couldn't escape. Old Second also said that he was falsely accused. The two people had the same confession. They were different from Wang Ling and Zhou He, who were caught on the spot and can't deny it. So it was currently in the stage of torture. No conviction yet. 
but if Zhou Qingbai didn't come, then this matter would still continue. Since Zhou Qingbai came, he can be released. Zhou Qingbai also led the widow and old second Lin out. He paid no heed to the fact that old second Lin couldn't walk properly. He had already listened to his wife's instruction. If he can't bring him out, then don't intervene. If he can, then don't bother with his life and death after taking him out. Zhou Qingbai also didn't like old second Lin, so he was done once he was taken out. Even without his wife's explanation, he planned to part ways with him here. Both old second Lin and the widow returned to the village. Although they were beaten badly and had injuries, at least they were released. What's more, they were acquitted. Old second Lin scolded and cursed those who wrongly accused him within the village. The widow also joined in and greeted, aka cursed, their 18th generations of ancestors. Because both of them stood so straight and no one caught them on the scene, it was all gossip. So they truly don't know whether the two were involved. In the end, the two of them had a close brush with death. Because this group of red soldiers from the outer city, the entire county CIT, and the communities under the county city were panic-stricken. This trend persisted until June. When those people departed again, everyone in the county was relieved. When those people were here, no one dared to speak loudly on the streets of the county city. Soon everyone had no time to mind these things, because it rained in mid-June. It was nearly the season of the summer harvest and another heavy rain arrived. This had everyone on the edge. If this goes on, what'll happen to the grain? Not to mention other people, even Zhou Qingbai frowned a little. This rain wasn't the kind that will stop in a few days. Sure enough, the rain went continued until the end of June. When everyone felt dread in their heart, it cleared up. The horn of the summer harvest sounded on the first day the rain stopped. Everyone took action. Chapter 216 Liangpi The village's summer harvest horn had sounded, but Dewa and other second-year students had no time to participate. That's because they will participate in the entrance examination in early July. At this time, the entrance examination was held in the city. Lin Qing, his first year, had long started their break. All the first-year students joined in the summer harvest. That morning, Lin Qing, he gave De Hua a lift over. She set out ahead of time. Unexpectedly, when she arrived, the second-year's teachers were already waiting with their respective classes. Seeing Lin Qing, he bring De Hua, De Hua's homeroom teacher, was relieved. She hoped that De Hua could get a good place in the exam. If he ranked highly in the county, she won't get any bonus as the teacher. However, the school would gain a lot of faces. At this time, the high school entrance examination didn't take two days like the later generations. It was completed in one day. When Dewa came out, Lin Qing, he was already waiting. Today she came to accompany him. At this time, there was an addition of a big watermelon behind the bicycle. Mother, we have finished the exam. Naturally, Dewa was delighted. He was the only one in the school that got this treatment. His mother was with him all day. Lin Qing, he had become a role model from future generations, accompanying kids on their exam. Have to say, it was very hard as there was nothing else to do. She wandered around the black market and sold pork after her son went in. After a whole day, she was tired. So De Hua offered to cycle her back. Okay. Lin Qing, he knew her eldest son's capability. It's just a bike. He can ride it when he was 8 years old. Now he was 11 years old and almost 1.65 meters tall. Just a little shorter than Lin Qing he. Soon he will surpass her. So De Hua took his mother home. On the way, they encountered other teachers. Watching the mother and son go back, the other teacher's expression displayed envy. Teacher Lin really knows how to teach children. Who would disagree? Her education is excellent and even personally came to accompany him. It's too costly. I heard that Zhou Kai currently drinks two bottles of milk every day. How much did it cost for two bottles of milk a day? 
half of the salary was spent on this. What's more, it was said that the other children were also given this. This cost a lot. However, there wasn't much they can say. She was willing to feed her sons, so what can they say? When the mother and son returned home, it was still early. Lin Ching, he chilled the watermelon, while De Wa rode the bicycle, to the field. At his time, he can still help out for more than an hour. How much he worked, was how much work point he got. The more this kid grows up now, the more he knew he had to help the family. Because he knew very well that the family had no money. All the money in the family was spent on food and drink for them brothers. Lin Ching, he was preparing the meal at home. It was better to make something simple today. So after some pondering, Lin Ching, he made Liangpi. It's not difficult to make Liangpi. It's just time and energy consuming. Lin Ching, he didn't mind. There was nothing to do at home now, so what problem was there to let them eat something good? After the completion of the Liangpi, Lin Ching, he fried a few more eggs, picked a handful of cowpeas, washed all the cowpeas, chopped them, fried them, and mixed them with the scrambled eggs when they were cooked. A spoon was placed on the side for whoever wanted to scoop some to mix with the liangpi. If they found the taste too light, they can also scoop a spoon of chili sauce. There was still a jar of last year's chili sauce left, which was delicious. Lin Qing, he herself had some craving. Still, she waited for the family to come back. Once she was done and looked at the time, it was only six. Because the day darkened late and they were racing against time, they got off work at six. The soonest they can get home was around half past six. Lin Ching, he went to clean up the pig pen and chicken coop. After cleaning up, she took a bath again. Her whole body was refreshed and fragrant. Only then did Zhou Ching buy, Father Zhou, and the kids returned. Dinner time. Lin Ching, he washed her hair today. Her hair was still dripping. She grabbed a towel to bind her hair, and then served the liangpi. Mother, what is this? Sanhua said with brightened eyes. Delicious stuff. Su Chang's eyes also lit up. Eat, eat. His younger brother Su Sun had grown a lot. He can utter simple pronunciation. This eat was especially clear. Wash your face and hands, then come over and eat Langpi. Lin Qinghe waved her hand. There was no habit of eating Liangpi here. Still, this novel food was liked by the whole family. Both Father Zhou and Mother Zhou enjoyed it very much. Stir-fried cowpea with eggs and a little chili sauce. Delicious combination. Yummy, really yummy. Little Su Ching had his face buried in the bowl and repeatedly remarked. Since it's yummy, I'll make it next time. Lin Ching, he smiled. She turned to Zhou Ching Bai. Zhou Ching Bai was also satisfied with his meal. He loved spicy food. He mixed in a spoonful of chili sauce, which made him a little sweaty. Eat slowly. Lin Ching, he wiped his sweat with a handkerchief. De Wa and his brother started wiggling their brows. Zhou Qingbai glanced at his wife and said, Make it again tomorrow. All right. Lin Qing, he readily agreed. Mother, Qing Qing said it's yummy, and you said to make it next time. Who knows when next time is? Father said to make it tomorrow, you agreed without a second thought. Sanhua pointed out. Then are you going to eat or not? Lin Qing, he asked. Eat. Sanhua responded. Both Father Zhou and Mother Zhou laughed. This meal was truly satisfying. After finishing, there was still a big watermelon waiting. After a busy day, it was really comfortable to be able to rest now. The bricks and stones in the yard had been watered. It was dry now. The former heat had disappeared. Placing down the summer mat, the children would get on and roll and rest. It was extremely comfortable. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai were on another mat, not sharing with these mischievous monkeys. About half an hour after the meal, Lin Qing, he sent De Hua to cut the watermelon. 
The whole family talked and laughed as they ate the watermelon. After a short break, they then went to take a bath. Around nine o'clock, the children were all asleep. They were so tired, it was natural for them to got to bed earlier. Zhou Qingbai fed the pigs. After that, he went back to the room to find his wife to go swimming. Lin Qing, he didn't plan to go. She said, I washed my hair today. Go by yourself. This man loved swimming, especially in the summer. Every so often, he would call her to go with him. Lin Qing, he sometimes joined in and sometimes not. Seeing that she didn't want to go, he went by himself. However, he returned late that night. He departed after 9 o'clock and would usually come back around 10.30. However, when he came back today Lin Qing, he had already fallen asleep. When she checked the watch on the Kang's head, it was almost 12. Where did you go? Lin Qing, he yawned and asked. Chapter 217 County's number one, she knew her own man. Even though he was late, he wouldn't do anything wrong to her. It's nothing. Zhou Qingbai changed his pants and snuggled up with his wife to sleep. Lin Qing, he had an urge. After sleeping a bit, she gained a lot more energy. So, she had the desire to get him to do something naughty? Zhou Qingbai chuckled and cave in for a round. Lin Qing, he was satisfied and hugged her man to sleep. The next day she heard of what happened last night. Last night, someone was bold enough to steal food from the sun-drying yard. There was always someone guarding the sun-drying yard every day. Unexpectedly, someone actually was found stealing food last night. Zhou Qingbai was swimming. When he caught a wisp of this news, he went to help. What's more, the thief was an old acquaintance. It wasn't someone else, it was Zhou He who was turned into a eunuch because of adultery. The roots of his life have been trampled, broken by others. Now this man was willing to go all. Refusing to do any work and commit any wicked thing. This wasn't the first time. According to the sun-drying yard guard, there seems to be some movement in the middle of the night since the beginning of the summer harvest. But because he took a nap while guarding, he thought it was an illusion. Probably because of this, Zhou He's courage had fattened up. Well what do you know, he wanted to get more. So the movement became louder this time. It happened that someone went to relieve himself in the middle of the night and ran into him. Joe he bolted off. He was quite unlucky. He encountered the leader's son and old second Kai from old Kai family, who were about to change shifts. So he was caught. It was far away from the houses, so the noise wasn't heard. Zhou Qingbai had noticed some activity from the riverside and went to check. Since he encountered it, he spectated the interrogation of Zhou He to confess his stealing food process. That's why he came back late. Zhou He had been escorted away early today. How can he not be taken away? At this time, the most taboo thing was to commit this. Zhou He had a previous offense. Now he was breaking the already broken jar and stole food. What's more, it was stealing hundreds of genes. If he wasn't severely punished, it'll start another repetition of this. How terrible it'll be in the future. So Zhou, he met a miserable fate. This time, he was sent to rehabilitate. His life won't fare any better. Because of this, the villagers criticized Zhou He's family. The whole family really lost all their face. After Lin Qing, he heard this matter, she dropped it. She delivered the food over in the afternoon. Lunch wasn't Liangbi. She will cook it in the evening. For lunch, they had mantu, a plate of bean sprout, and fried pork with green pepper. Also a boiled egg for each person. There was a box of spare ribs and seaweed soup. The rest was a pot of mung bean soup. It was placed in a military bottle, so they can drink it when they want by pouring it out into a bowl. Even though the summer harvest wasn't as tiring as the autumn harvest, it still can't be underestimated. Especially since the sun was really vicious. Have to say, the bigger the sun, the happier everyone was. 
That's because the grain can be dried quickly after it was harvested and be filled into sacks to hand in public grain. After paying public rations, everyone's hearts can settle down. In this era, it was shameful to be not able to pay the public rations and had to eat relief rations. Everywhere they go, they had no face to see people. This summer, Zhou Qingbai was looking forward to catching rabbits. Unfortunately, there were no rabbits to catch, because he didn't see any rabbits. Others did, but they couldn't react in time. This made the children feel disappointed. They were used to eating rabbits. Every summer and autumn harvest, they get to eat rabbits. This summer harvest, there was none. The adults didn't mind, they were pinning their hope on collecting the grain quickly because the weather looked like it was going to rain again. The summer harvest was swiftly completed in half a month. This year's harvest was a little lower than last year. Still, it wasn't too low. At least everyone won't go hungry. It was still possible to eat until this autumn harvest. There will be more mature grains. At that time, they will get allocated more. A few days after the grain was harvested, everyone immediately planted a new batch of seeds. This was linked to the autumn harvest. The weather was acting up. Not long after the seeds were sown, it rained heavily. This saved everyone from the chore of watering. Everyone can rest too. At the same time, Dewa's grades for high school entrance examination came out. Initially, Lin Qing, he reckoned that his result won't be terrible. However, she didn't expect that he could get the first place in the county. When the news came, Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing He, the parents were still very calm. While Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, the grandparents were over the moon. Counties number one. Their grandson got first place in the county during the entrance examination. There were so many junior school students in the whole county, and it was their grandson who ranked first. How can this not make them elated? Even the leader personally came to congratulate him and said old Joe family was going to produce a college student. If the number one in the county can't enter college, what kind of ability can go to college? And because of Dewa's excellent grades, the county school won't charge him tuition if he goes to the county school. There was no scholarship, just made it tuition-free. Still, this was better than nothing. Compared with Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, who treated Do Hua like the apple of their eyes, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai, the parents were more composed. Don't be too proud. Keep working hard. Lin Qing He said. Zhou Qing Bai was also satisfied with his eldest son this time. The chances of him going to college with his mother in the future increased. Do Hua was a little excited, but after the excitement, he returned to normal. He knew that the reason why he was able to gain the advantage this time was all due to his mother. Although the questions given by the mother weren't exactly the same as the exam, they were similar. Especially, the last main problem in mathematics. It wasn't easy, but he still solved it. He felt that the reason why he was able to stand out this time got to do with that question. The villagers thought was also very obvious. For example, Mrs. Kai came to visit that day. She bought over a basket of soybeans to pick, while Lin Qing, he was drying the sesame paste. The crushed sesame paste was very popular in the family. De Hua is 11 this year. Mrs. Kai mentioned. Lin Qing, he didn't think too much at first. She wasn't so narcissistic and believed people came to visit just to target her son and said, yes. Now his appetite is larger than his father. Once the two behind him grows up, I'll be worried about not being able to support them. These young teens can really eat their father poor. This is the phrase for this situation. Mrs. Kai smiled upon hearing this. Lin Qing, he laughed. Mrs. Kai continued again, my third granddaughter is about the same age as Dewa. She's also diligent and honest. Very filial to the elders. Lin Qing, he realized after hearing this, that one called Xiao Cha, right? Yes. Mrs. Kai broke into a grin, Dewa's mother, what do you think of Xiao Cha? Chapter 218. Blessed, pretty good. 
The little girl is very hardworking. Lin Qing, he replied, she indeed knew Kai Xiao Cha. She's not too small. De Hua grows quite fast. In a few years, it will be possible to marry a wife. Mrs. Kai jokingly said. The meaning was very clear. He's just eleven years old. Still a child. It's too earlier to talk about marrying a wife. Lin Qing, he understood her mind when she heard this. She gave a faint smile. Mrs. Kai couldn't tell whether she agreed or not, so she continued, Dewa's mother, what do you think of my Xiao Cha? Xiao Cha is great. However, aunt, don't rush it. Children and grandchildren have their own fortune, so let's not worry about it. Lin Qing, he smilingly responded. That can't do. The parents have to select them so they can live well. Mrs. Kai said. It's not like they'll live with us parents when they marry in. It'll be the children living by themselves. Better to let the children decide for themselves. I'm not going to follow those arranged marriages in the past. Lin Qing, he stated. Mrs. Kai never thought that she actually planned to let De Hua find one by himself. She also sensed that Lin Qing, he didn't want to talk about it, so she stopped the topic. I went to see Xiaoming yesterday, he looks so cute. Lin Qing, he changed around. Xiaoming was the nickname. The full name was Zhou Ming. He was Kai Ba Mei and Zhou Dong's son. He truly looked great. I must thank you for that big pig trotter from last time. It's wonderful. Mrs. Kai beamed. I watched Zhou Dong and Zhou Shi grow up. They were like older brother and sister to De Hua and the boys. Naturally, I would take care of his and Ba Mei's son. Lin Qing, he replied. Mrs. Kai grinned. She chatted for a while, and then she went back. Lin Qing, he shook her head very helplessly. This wasn't the first time Mrs. Kai mentioned it. She brought it up again last time. She really didn't want to interfere with De Hua's marriage. He can find one by himself. He can find whatever he likes. No matter, she won't get involved. The most important thing was that Kai Xiao Cha was too honest. She can't suppress De Hua's temperament. He was too lively. He won't like Kai Xiao Cha's kind. Furthermore, as she said earlier, the daughter-in-law won't live with her when she got married. It was De Hua will she accompany for the rest of his life, so naturally, his own preference was important. Lin Qing, he had it thought out a long time ago. She will never live with her daughters-in-law in the future. As for postnatal confinement, she will not intervene. She'll just hire a nanny to help. Raising the brothers was hard enough, she really doesn't want to serve her daughters-in-law anymore. Yes, she was such a selfish woman. For the days to come, she had plans. She wanted to travel around with her family, Qing Bai. Of course, this was on the premise that she won't reach out and ask for money from her sons and daughters-in-law. If her sons and daughters-in-law need it, she can still support them. These were all she can do. The rest can be left for her and her Qing Bai to enjoy. But for now, that's far away. That evening, Lin Qing, he told Zhou Qing Bai about this, our eldest is so popular now. Have anyone inquired with you about it? Zhou Gang Tai's family and Wang Xiang was family. Zhou Qing Bai answered. Lin Qing, he chuckled, what did you say? Let De Hua find one by himself in the future. Zhou Qing Bai said. Lin Qing, he smiled, good answer. Zhou Qing Bai looked at his wife with gentle eyes. His biggest wish now was that the children grow up quickly and then move out. He will be with his wife. Zhou Qing Bai didn't know that his wife also had the same plan. What's more, planned further than him. It was summer vacation. Lin Qing, he took some time and brought the children to the city to watch movies and have fun. Of course, little Su Qing and little Su Sun came along. San Hua and Little Su Qing were carried by Lin Qing, he. Little Su Sun and Er Hua were carried by De Hua. At noon, they bought ingredients and came over to Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei's place. 
The couple was very delighted to see their two sons, coming with their aunt and cousins. You, you didn't need to buy, buy ingredients. It. It's all right for me, me too, buy them. Su Da Lin picked up his two sons and said to Lin Qing, he. It was on the way. Conveniently bought it on the way over. Lin Qing, he smiled. Then they went in. Got to say, Zhou Xiaomei and Su Da Lin were blessed. It wasn't easy to have such a place of more than 40 square meters at this time. It was very spacious. Su Da Lin fawned over his sons for a bit and then went to cook. Lin Qing, he swept a glance at him, then winked at Zhou Xiaomei, who had a big belly. Zhou Xiaomei went into the room with her to talk. You're really blessed. Lin Qing, he came in and remarked. Apart from the problem of stuttering, Su Da Lin was almost impeccable. How can a perfect one exist in the world? This was already great. After all, she wasn't a peerless beauty. Zhou Xiaomei smiled shyly and said, Fourth sister-in-law, don't talk about me. My fourth brother also treats you like the apple of his eye. Lin Qing, he looked at her belly and asked, How's it going? Count the days, it should be next month, right? Yeah. Zhou Xiaomei nodded and said, After this one, I swear that I will never give birth again. I'm tired of it already. After this, it's certainly not too little. Lin Qing, he nodded. If she really doesn't want to, then don't have any more. It wasn't a big deal. With these two mischievous monkeys and this one that coming in the future, I really trouble fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei felt embarrassed. The two sons were so well taken care of. Not only Su Da Lin, but she was also grateful to her fourth sister-in-law. What trouble? Mother put the most effort. I only help occasionally. Lin Qing, he replied. She only made good meals for them when they grew up. As for when they were young, she really didn't know how to mind them. It was all handled by Mother Zhou. The two sisters-in-law chatted for a while before they came out. Su Da Lin had already fried a large plate of salted peanuts for the kids. He was cooking other dishes. Each one of you only knows how to eat. You have to learn a little bit. A man like your uncle who can make money, dote on his wife, and can cooks find it easy to get a wife, Lin Qing, he remarked. Mother, eldest brother have it easy too. Recently, some people started stuffing us eggs and asking us to take them home for Dewa to eat. Erwa peeled the salt water peanuts and laughed. When I grow up in the future, I will definitely have no worries about marrying a wife. Sanwa also declared. Zhou Xiaomei was amused, you're only that big and already thought of marrying a wife? I want to marry too. Su Qing quickly joined in. Just wait. None of you can run away. Lin Qing, he laughed. Chapter 219 Hundred Jin of meat after lunch at Su Da Lin and Zhou Xiaomei, Lin Qing, he took the children to the movie. Seeing that Su Qing and little Su Sun leave so happily and without reluctance, Su Da Lin commented, they are really close to their fourth aunt. It's a must, fourth sister-in-law treats them well. Zhou Xiaomei responded. Su Da Lin smiled and said, fourth sister-in-law is really nice. I can see she doesn't treat the boys differently from De Hua and the others. That's the kind of person my fourth sister-in-law is. Either she won't help to watching over or agree and take care of them. She won't give preferential treatment. Zhou Xiaomei said. Su Da Lin grinned. He knew in his heart. If not, how could he be willing to let his nephew, De Hua to come to live in their home? Naturally, he wanted to repay back a bit. That's how it works between relatives. Not blindly asking or giving. It was always mutual. Lin Qing, he didn't care about this. She took the children around to happily play for a day. They watched movies, ate candied haws, and then bought a watermelon home. Mother Zhou knew that she took the children to see her little daughter today, and asked, how is Xiaomei? Very good. She seems to be spoiled by brother-in-law like a little girl. 
This time I went over, she told me coquettishly that this one is the last one. Not going to birth any more afterward. Lynching, he said. Mother Zhou smilingly chided, this stinky girl. Doesn't know where she learned this mindset. Better to give birth to a few more while she is young. In the future, she won't have a chance to. What's more, it's not like she can't afford it. Su Lin's salary had increased a little now. From 30 yuan a month to almost 40 yuan. Zhou Xiaomei also had a raise. A salary of almost 20 yuan. After all, it was a small worker, won't be good as Su De Lin. But once the couple's salary was added up, it was 60 yuan. In this era, if a family can have this income every month, it was definitely an exceptional living condition. Those in the countryside can afford to raise so many, not to mention those with such a high income. After giving birth, there's three. It's not little. If Xiaomi really doesn't plan to give birth, don't criticize her, mother, Lin Qing he said. Three isn't a small number, but it's also not too many. De Lin has inherited employment, it's better to desire more. Mother Zhou responded. Now there are two sons, and if this one is a girl, it will sons and daughters, complete. If it's a son, then that's three sons. Mother, leave them alone and let the couple discuss it. Lin Qing, he clarified. N. Mother Zhou nodded. She didn't plan to intervene, I killed and sorted all those rice field eels. Then I will stew it with pickled veg. Lin Qing, he nodded. She started cooking. Rice field eel stewed with pickled veg, tomato and egg drop soup, fried cabbage, and a pork belly with cow pea. When Zhou Qing Bai and the others came back, the family began dinner. Lin Qing, he came over to look for Sister Mei the next day. After Sister Mei led her into the house as she whispered in a hushed tone, Sister, how is the atmosphere in the city these days? It's okay now. The chaos earlier this year was fierce, but now it appears extremely calm. Lin Qing, he responded. Seeing Sister Mei like this, she had also lowered her voice, Sister Mei, is something up in the slaughterhouse? There is. Just don't know if you can take, sister. Sister Mei whispered. How much? Lin Qing, he looked at her and asked. Forty jeans. All first and second class good meat. Sister Mei watched her and answered. So much? Lin Qing, he said in amazement, don't tell me it's dead pig's meat. Even though it's dead pig's meat, it doesn't matter at all during this time. Everyone would be snatching to buy those dead piglets. However, Lin Qing, he couldn't accept it. She didn't want to do that unscrupulous business. As someone from the future, this was her bottom line. No. It's excessive raising. Sister May whispered. Then she explained with a few sentences about the slaughterhouse's matter. There were pigs raised in the slaughterhouse, but there was a limit on the number. If one wants to raise more, no one will know. After all, they got plentiful there. What's more, those people who come and go there were the same group. It won't get out. Of course, they only tried to do it this year. They didn't dare to do it before. They never thought it'll be so strict this year. It scared everyone for a while. Fortunately, the slaughterhouse didn't get affected. After Lin Qing, he found out about this, she scheduled the time with Sister Mei. She returned later with Zhou Qing by around 1 o'clock in the morning. At this time, it goes to show the benefit of letting Zhou Qing Bai know her secret. Otherwise, she would have missed out on so much pork. Since she owned a space, she requested a lot more from Sister Mei. Almost a hundred genes of pork. This amount was within Lin Qing He's limit. Sister Mei decided to give it to her because she had known her for so many years. After returning home, Lin Qing, he told Zhou Qing Bai about it. Zhou Qing Bai had a helpless expression but didn't say anything. At one o'clock that night, the couple went over. One hundred genes of meat wasn't a small number. Sister Mei used two poly-woven bags to store them and reported the weight of various meats. 
Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Qingbai left immediately after they received the goods. Be careful, Sister Mei whispered. I'm going to your place tomorrow morning and sit around. Lin Qing, He replied. Then she walked away with Zhou Qingbai. Once they observed no one was around, they immediately withdrew the pork into the space. It's all good meat. I can't bear to sell it anywhere. Let's keep it for ourselves. Lin Qing, he opened the bag with her mind in the space, checked it, and said. Fatty meat. Pork belly. Pork loin. And of course ribs and big bones. Then keep it for ourselves. Zhou Qingbang nodded. Lin Qing, he grinned. Then she won't hold back. All the meat she brought over had been eaten, so it was fine to leave these meats in the space for themselves. For hundreds of jeans of meat, the purchase price from Sister May was less than 100 yuan, so she was naturally willing to keep it for themselves. As for what she sold, she usually bought some leftover pork. It was still hot item in the black market. What's more, it was also very profitable. The day before yesterday, she counted the family savings. It was already more than 5,000. In this era, it counts as half a 10,000 yuan household. Must mention, Lin Qing, he got a sense of accomplishment. When the couple got home, they washed up and slept without disturbing the children next door. After making breakfast the next day, Lin Qing, he came to Sister May's house to settle the payment. The meat cost a total of almost 90 yuan, so she gave 90. Sister May was delighted, and then reconfirmed, is the next customer, no problem? No problem, don't worry. Lin Qing He, who had no next customer, nodded. That's good. Sister Mei smilingly nodded. Lin Qing He didn't stay too long. After saying goodbye to Sister Mei, she went home and started to stew the bone soup for the noodles for lunch. Chapter 220 Gold bracelet again, because they got this batch of meat from Sister Mei, the food at home went up a level. This led to Mother Zhou stuffing Lin Qing He ten yuans. Lin Qin, he was puzzled by this, Mother, why are you giving me money? It costs a lot of money to buy so much meat, Mother Zhou replied. Ever since she joined her youngest son and daughter-in-law for meals, Mother Zhou felt a little guilty. She knew Fourth's wife can splurge, but what she didn't know that the money was basically spent on Qing Bai and the boys. Qing Bai owned several sets of clothes. Just sweaters only were two both made by his wife. Same with the boys. All of them were treated well. Because De Wa, the eldest grandson, was growing up, she made sure he ate well every day. Mother Zhou felt if it were her, she might not be willing to feed eldest grandson this way. On the other hand, Fort's wife ate poorly herself. It was either munching on cucumber or tomato. At most, one or two pieces of meat. There was one egg a day, but that was it. Because of Lin Qing He's performance over the years, Mother Zhou chose to forget how she took care of the boys before. After all, people have to look forward. Let those little things of the past pass. Why bother focusing on them? Because the food was so great, it was natural to know that it was costly. That's why Mother Zhou handed some subsidy. Lin Qing, he chuckled when she heard this, mother, put it away. It goes without saying that meat is bought to be eaten. There's still some money at home. If there is no money, I will go to you. How could she take money from her mother-in-law? Take it, your father asked me to give it. Mother Zhou persisted. Lin Qing, he had no intention to take it, but seeing that she really wanted to give it, she accepted and said, all right. I won't be reserved with you, mother. If you need money to spend, just tell me. Mother Zhou smiled and nodded. Then whispered about Dewa, your aunt Kai came to me again and wanted to introduce her Shao Kai to Dewa. It's too early. Lin Qing, he responded. I said the same thing. Besides, our Dewa has to marry an intellectual in the future. Mother Zhou also had her thoughts. She believed the reason why her eldest grandson was so good at studying was that he had inherited from his mother. Otherwise, relying on old Joe's ability 
how could they produce such a studious grandson? Not possible. This shows the importance of finding a good partner. After finally studying to this high level, he must find someone at a similar level in the future. There was no reason to find a girl in the village. Especially, the girl, Xiao Cha. She was a good girl, but just too honest. Definitely, can't tame her grandson. Have to say, Mother Zhou's thoughts were similar to Lin Qing He's. Mother Zhou felt that it was better to find Fourth's wife's kind. She can handle Old Fourth. Although Old Fourth was a fine fella, she shouldn't find someone similar to him for him. Look at Old Second. He was completely under his wife's control. Not promising at all. Eldest and Old Third were like that, not as good as Old Fourth. So Mother Zhou decided that if eldest grandson is looking for a spouse in the future, she must open her eyes wide and examine slowly and carefully. Why rush? Old Kai family wanted to make an early reservation now? Don't think about it. Lin Qing, he chuckled and didn't say anything. In her mind, he was only 11 years old and hadn't stopped being breastfed completely. So why would he look for a wife? It's not overboard to look for one at the age of 31. However, at the age of 11 and a half, one. 65 meter de wa was very driven. Now that he didn't need to focus on studying and need to wait until September 1st to enter high school, he joined his father every day to earn work points. Of course, Lin Qing, he also brought high school textbooks in advance to give him a preview. As for Air Hua and San Hua studies, Lin Qing, his demand was less. They can study according to the normal pace. Initially, she wanted De Hua to take his time with the study, but to catch the first train of the college entrance examination, she had to push her eldest son to work hard. Fortunately, everything was on track. Two years later, the college entrance examination will be just right after he completed the second year of high school. Lin Qing, he didn't have classes to teach. It was still summer vacation. She strolled around the city in her spare time and brought a lot of agricultural products to sell. For example, peanuts, sesame, and soybeans. They weren't worth much money in the countryside, but they can still be sold out in the city. Big lass, do you still have these peanuts? I have something in my hand. Don't know if you will exchange it or not. A little old lady looked at Lin Qing, he, and whispered. Lin Qing, he wasn't familiar with her, and responded, Madam, I finally exchanged for these after much difficulties. My family is desperate to use money. If not, I won't do this. This was how she acted with unfamiliar people. She can't straight up agree as soon as it was brought up. Who knows if they were a spy or not. Don't hide it from me. I know you are a veteran at first glance. My two sons have jobs. However, without ration coupons, my grandchildren are starving. I'm not here to investigate. The little old lady whispered. At this, Lin Qing he smiled, does man want to exchange it with money or what? Come with me. The little old lady said. Lin Qing he followed. At this time, the people panicked as soon as there were shouts. She won't dare to commit the abduction. Also, she won't enter the small alley. At most, wait at the entrance of the big alley. The little old lady had no plans of leading her in. She asked her to wait outside and she went in by herself. Then when she came out, she brought her over to an alley which had no one. Big lass, look at this thing. The little old lady made sure no one was around and then revealed a corner of the gold bracelet. Lin Qing, he could tell what it was at a glance, and shook her head, ma'am, you must joking. This kind of old society item, can't even exchange for a steamed bun now. What use is it to me? It's useless now, but it will definitely be useful, in the future. If it weren't for the fact, that we can't cook at home now, I wouldn't want to take it out. The little old lady, did indeed have reluctance in her eyes. Lin Qing, he felt, that pushing, the price down with this little old lady was a bit bullying, so she said, then ma'am, what are you going to exchange it for? 
50 jeans food coupons, and this gold bracelet will be given to you. The little old lady stared at her as she said. Take it out and let me have a look. Lin Ching, he looked at her. The little old lady showed her the gold bracelet. Lin Ching, he weighed it. It got quite a bit of weight, so she said, 40 jeans. 45 jeans. All right. Lin Ching, he took out the food coupons from her pocket. These food coupons were gained from her food exchange. As for her space, there were many national military food coupons brought back by Zhou Qingbai. These were very precious. She'll save them for future use. The old lady didn't expect her to direct. Still, she didn't say anything. Anyway, she picked up the bracelet. It wasn't really hers. She'll exchange as much as she can. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.